Welcome to the Samwell B12 Experience, where we have you covered for all the NHL action, play-by-play, news, and more. Make sure to subscribe today. Watching Sam Welby Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we go again. It's Tuesday evening, and it's the Leafs and the Flyers about to do the dance for the third time in a row. And we saw them just a couple of days ago where the Leafs took it home, and they're looking for another big one here tonight. So welcome in, one and all. We're ready to start this dance. I hope you're pumped up. This is going to be a nice matchup. Gerard, what's going on? Welcome in. Gator, good to see you. Kudis, welcome. Chris, hello there. Fans of the Green Bay Packers, welcome in. Uh, Beatriz, good to see you. Tristan, hello there. Welcome to the show. Let me scroll back here a little bit. Hayden, what's up? Max, good to see you. Welcome in. Gerard, hello, hello, hello. Daniel Barry, what's up? Do not talk to strangers. No strangers in here. Welcome in Alejandro, Matthew, good to see you. Krusty, what's up? Welcome in Austin Spencer, Lucas, hello there. Claude, B. Disney, welcome in everybody. We're about to get it kicked off. There's a lot to talk about. I got a list of notes here from the general manager meetings that are taking place. There's lots we got to talk about. We're going to really do that at the first intermission. Oh, Leo, what's going on? Welcome in. This is going to be a doozy. All right, let's get into the lineups right away. For, you know what, even though the Flyers are at home, let's start with the Flyers lineup tonight because there's some interesting things going on in Flyer land that you might not be aware of. Here is the Flyers lineup, and let's see if anybody can spot which one of these does not belong. For the Flyers, top line, Owen Tippett with Morgan Frost and Travis Kinnicky. With Second line, Joel Farabee with Scott Lawton and Bobby Brink. Then we got Tyson Forrester with Ryan Pooling and Garrett Hathaway. Remember what a thorn in the side of the Leafs Hathaway was just the other night? Nicholas Dolores is in there with Noah Cates and Ollie Elixil. Those are your forward lines. On D, Cam York with Travis Sanheim. Adam Ginning with Ronnie Attard. Igor Zamula with Eric Johnson. And I believe Samuel Urson going to get the start tonight. So you're saying... Um, Sam, something seems a little bit off. You would not be mistaken. Healthy scratches tonight. Dennis Garyanov, Sean Couturier, Cam Atkinson, and Mark Stahl. Why is it practically an all-star line on the healthy scratch line today? I have no idea. Don't know what Philly is doing. Are they starting to 
rest some players. I mean, there's three weeks, four weeks, five weeks left in the season. No, about four weeks. Why are they sitting Garyanov, Couturier, Atkinson, and Stahl out? What does Torts have up his sleeve? So very interesting move there by the Flyers. Davey Boy, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Antonio, welcome in as well. Now, for the Leaf lineup, they're going back, well, uh, somewhat similar. We're familiar with these lines. Tyler Bertuzzi with Austin Matthews and Pontus Holmberg getting the call on the top line tonight. Homie Holmberg with Matthews and Bertuzzi. Second line, which is my favorite line of this group, Bobby McMahon with Max Domi and William Nylander. How much speed and solid hands are on this line? McMahon, Domi, and Nylander love it. We got Matty Nyes with John Tavares and Nick Robertson and Connor Duar with David Kempf and Ryan Reeves. On the D side, it's going to be Morgan Riley with TJ Brody, Simon Benoit with Jake McCabe, Joel Edmondson with Tommy Lilligren and Sammy getting the start again tonight. Samsonov is in net. Noah Gregor, healthy scratch tonight, as is. They actually list Connor Timmons as a healthy scratch tonight, so maybe Timmy is pretty close to be coming back and making a return. Richard coming in with the 20-pound Super Chat. Thoughts and prayers to the family of ex-Penguin Constantine Kozlov, who passed away today at 42. Yes, Richard, thank you. first of all, thank you so much for the Super Chat. We're going to get into that today. Um, two very, very sad moments. One with uh, Koltsov, uh, very you know tragic and, and sad moment. The other one is, uh, well, some of you may remember him, some of you may not. He played with the Colorado Avalanche, Chris Simon. Chris Simon also passing away today. So um, two losses to the NHL uh, network. It's a network of players. Very, very tragic situation. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, but Richard, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, the super chat there. Uh, yes. So Giordano is still with the concussion. Ilya Labushkin and good, a good ear there, Tristan. Good ear. Ilya Labushkin is scratched tonight. He's out with an illness, the undisclosed illness. So he's out. Mitch Marner out with the high ankle sprain. He did not make the trip. So if you, uh, we did put out a short kind of minute and a half video on the Mitch Marner situation. If you haven't seen it, uh, do me a favor, go over and give it a, a quick look and a like. We'll drop the link a little bit later on uh, and help that video out. Cali Yarncroft still out with the hand injury. But yeah, Labushkin, the big one, out with the illness. Uh, Blended, what's going on? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, very unfortunate. And I think, why don't we take this time, uh, since we're talking about it, uh, and take a quick moment of silence for Chris Simon and of course, uh, Constantine calls off to terrible situations, but, uh, anytime there's a passing, we like to honor it with a, a quick, uh, moment of silence. Alrighty, let's get in here. Yeah, Simon. Simon was one of those guys. He was a big. I mean, he was he was a fighter, right? He's an enforcer, a tough guy, and definitely came in and impacted a lot of teams. All right, so now with this underway in the game, ready to rock and roll. This is going to be another big, big moment for the Leafs. The Leafs being tested over and over again down this stretch. They should not have a problem with this Flyers team, especially with Philly sitting as many people as they are. Toronto won just a couple of days ago against the Flyers, 6-2. to two. They also won back in February, 4-3 in overtime. So what is in store for today? Let's get ready to rumble. And that's what I'm thinking. Philly's got some tough guys in their lineup. This could end up being a carryover from the last game where we saw things getting a little heated up. Now, if you're just coming in and joining us, welcome to the show. Do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, hit that like button for us. It really, really helps. Of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do hit that subscribe as well. But as we're kicking it off, the likes are super important to us. So make sure you tap that thumbs up. Also, to let you know, 
anyone who's in the chat chatting away, you're earning points as we go. So all you have to do is come in and chat and you're going to earn points. You'll be able to use those points for redemptions to bring up graphics all game long and have some fun that way. And now for all of our channel members, I know you have the gambling functionality. I know we've had some reports of the totals not adding up to the proper amounts. We do have a support ticket out with the uh, the widget. Um, we're going to wait and see. Hopefully that does get addressed and looked into. I really don't want to have to reset everybody's points and have you start over. But we have a support ticket in and we'll see how that gets fixed. Prep coming in, getting that little shimmy going. Thank you, Prep. Getting me getting warmed up before this game starts. Welcome in. This is going to be a good one. Daryl, how's it going? Good to see you. Lala's place coming in. Welcome. And we're going to switch over to the other screen in a minute. Jamie, welcome in. Unfortunately, I don't. If I did, I'd love to get it to you. But you're more than welcome to hang out here with us. Let's flip over. Get ready to drop this pocky game in motion. Should be a great one. First period, let's kick it. Here we go. Lewis, good evening. Welcome in. Now brought in by Owen Tippett, trying to backhand that back in front. He's blocked by Tippett. Back along the boards, the point it goes to Cam York. Drops it back, Owen Tippett long. Shot scores! Oh my god, first shot and Philly scores! Say what? Say what? Well, Benoit, how's it going? Start Welcome in. in First goal. shot and right on. on I don't think Sammy Nick saw Robertson. this. In a little deep, three guys to the corner, puck gets out to his point man. And it's just a long time for Edmondson to filter out to Owen Tippett. One of those three guys has to get out there and he just sifts it through. Edmondson uh, standing the right in the direct line of path. Glimpse of it as it line gets of by sight him. for Samsonov. Tippett. Unreal. Philly jumping out with that early 1 0 goal. Yikes. 24th of the year. He had 27 last year. Picked up from Florida in the trade to St. Claude Giroux to the Panthers. That took a funny bounce in the corner that chipped ahead. And Austin Matthews can't clear it out. Brought back in by Ryan Paling. And Sean Couture, a healthy scratch tonight. So is Cam Atkinson. So is Mark Stahl. That's more than 2,500 games worth of experience sitting out for Philadelphia tonight. Sandheim goes back for it. Here's Tyson Forster with a tie up by Tyler Bertuzzi. You're looking for a reaction. You got to be happy with the start. You're John Tortorella. All the Flyers can all of a sudden feel <laughs> the heat. Washington, the Flyers Washington, a point back of the Flyers for third in the Metro. The Islanders only three back, and both those teams have games in hand. In comes Scott Lawton to pick up that loose puck. Throws it to the line and just out. And the Flyers playing game yeah, God three love Gritty, a right? stretch of love seven Gritty. games against teams all ahead of them in the standing. William Nylander. Drops that back for Edmondson. That's picked out by Bobby Brink. Max Domi plays it across. Here's Edmondson walking in. Bangs that down to his man, but the pass is out of his reach. And Joel Farabee has it back for Philadelphia. That pass goes off a stick. Up and out of play. So they just played Philly. Wait, trash they should what's know. going on. In the neutral zone, Philadelphia will step up. Right off the opening face off. <laughs> Edmondson is pressured, and Sandheim steps on nice. You have to know <laughs> this is going to happen. And Toronto just not able to manage the puck up the wall. Let's build up. You get back in their own end, and then here's the goal. And when you get three guys down in the corner, yeah, they don't win the battle. It's not a good goal by Toronto. Misplaying in your own zone. To get that good shot off through traffic. Sammy couldn't see it. Can't come up with the save. Leafs had a two-goal lead against Carolina with two to play. Wound up losing in a shootout. The Flyers need points. Philly's going to win the draw, starts this, to move this up. In Carolina, home to Boston, Florida. Toronto forcing him back temporarily. Here they come. Jonesy, what's going on? Welcome in. This is scoring play for Philadelphia. As David Kemp brings Toronto it out. picks up the puck. They're going to dump this one in. Dump and chase game is solid. Kemp in there first. They're going to rotate it around. There's a lead player down on the ice. A little slow to get up. Couldn't see who it was. It was Kemp. 
Lula looks sell. Number 62 out there for Philadelphia. Gets back in the lineup. Yeah, still waiting, Blended. Still and waiting. Adam Ginning on defense, playing in his second career NHL game. Brody Brody gets it up to Matthews. Matthews inexperienced puts on the blue this line. one across. Matthews will he find his game here tonight. Third pair here against Matthews. Matthews pokes out ahead to Holmberg. Took a funny bounce in behind the goal. Now picked up. By Garnet Hathaway, intercepted by Right, Phil, McCabe. pretty much. And Craig, McCabe how's it going? Back to he to the point, he goes, Matthews backing up. Plays it back for Ben Juan, he can't get a shot away. There was some ill will at the end of the game on Thursday as Matthews plays it across, and McCabe shoots, kicked out. Christo, welcome in. At least with their number one power play on the ice, with the game well out of reach. And it's a hand pass called at center ice. Jeez, so Toronto's still trying to get up and Napa get in Auto here. They're definitely, be definitely the continuing these again. slow Philly starts, which I don't get it. Toronto's no longer blocking their goalie, but are standing around watching. Toronto, they are watching. I just uh, don't understand. Like, you know, Philly has a bunch of their top guys not dressed tonight. Why is the effort not there? Why is this slow out of the gate? Kind of Krista, I am great. Sure. Thank no you so much for asking. It, at the same time, you've yeah. got a chance to make it. Feeling from whom? That's the organization's feeling. They're right? going to the dump the Philly dumps this in. We're going back to pick like, it up. We've come this far. We want to make it. Right? Toronto gets it out of their own end, but barely. Kinecki back with it. He's being watched by Tavares, and he's going to turn and come right up ice. Flipping it in, Philly driving around the net. Back to the line. Back to the middle of Tippett. Billy just completely controlling the play. Shot right out in front. Another pass. A 2 on 0 temporarily. My goodness. On the feed from Sanheim. That was very nearly 2 0 Philadelphia. Sanheim overpassing, trying to find back door. This is not a good start to this hockey game for Toronto. is going to hear about that missed assignment on the bench. Back in the lineup on Saturday and scored against Carolina in just over 11 minutes of play. I'll bring it to the four check. And Domi brings it back around. Knocked up by Rivers. Here's oh, another oh, shot and a tip oh, off the goal post. That's off the outside of the post. Rick, what's going on? Welcome in. Have a shot yet. The Flyers have had three good Here's chances. Willie. Willie coming in. Going to flip this one down. Willie kind of gets knocked down He's here by Zimula. The hey there, Ian. Welcome in. That's right, Richard. Wake up. Toronto can't even get into Philly's end right now. They're struggling. Philly has them way off guard. Benoit back to pick this one up. That's what I'm thinking, Daryl. We got, all right. Round one. Fight. Glorious and Reeves. Choose your fighter. Hadouken. They're squared off. They're waiting. They're waiting. Let's go. Someone throw. Reeves goes in and grabs him. Now he comes over the top, but he's kind of behind Delorier. He's punching, but he's getting nothing but helmet in air. He's swinging rapidly. Delorier comes in with a shot. Reeves still trying to go over. Reeves, he's going to go down. Reeves back up. He's ducking away. Delorier comes over the top, forcing Reeves down. Nothing much coming out of that tilt. It was a good standoff, a good way to get going. Reeves could not get a lot of shots in him. Delorier had him turned around. And finally, Delorier comes back and takes so Reaver right down. In front of me on Thursday. Now, Delorier was not going to play. So this is very pleasant, just checking in. How are you doing? What's going on? Nothing about the game, nothing about getting into a fight. Just checking in. Tonight, this is Delorier coming in right over Mark Master's shoulder. And they are they're talking about when they want this. As Delorier skates away, he says to Reeves, we can go wherever you want. Right away, it's up to you. So I guess Reeves thought, you know what? Our team's got nothing going. So what the they're talking six. about is... During warm-ups, Reeves and Deloria at center ice standing there having that conversation. They dropped the mitts. Wasn't a great fight. Not a lot of landed shots. Some visor shots, some helmet shots. Both guys kind of checking out their knuckles.
So definitely a, a nice little scrap here, but not a lot of good landed fights. That's right, stage fight. They talked about it. They knew it was going to happen. They're still talking about it in the uh, <laughs> in the box, smiling and going back and forth talking about it. Round one, will we see a round two? Toronto has it in Philly zone. Trying to dig this out, bring it around. Toronto can't even get a stick on it. In the corner, it's David Kemp playing it back to the line. Off balance shot. Trying to put it right on. Back to Riley again. Another blast. This one finally finds its way. Nice save off the deflection. Billy moves this out of their own zone, relieving some pressure. And we got an icing call. So this is going to come right back down to the Philadelphia end of the ice. So a nice kind of burst of energy there following that fight Toronto finally able to get something going but not much at all Philly scoring on the first goal or first shot of the night he gets this tip in the middle of his stick gets it down and Harrison gets does a good job to get the fat sealed there Hey Victoria welcome in good to see you Nathan hello there Jonathan good evening Picked up by Ronnie Adder, who made his NHL debut against Toronto. Adder racing back has been a very prolific offense. Bertuzzi coming around. He's fighting on the four check. Can't Flyers. come up with the puck. Billy still with it, playing right up the middle now off the boards and out. And back is Edmondson. Going to play this up through the neutral zone. Coming back around. Matthews back on it. Austin Matthews drops that back. Oh, you're going to shot. And another stoppage in play. Going to hang on to that. So Austin Matthews does so many smart things to the puck. We always talk about his, his shot and the way he scores goals. But the way he protects it, watch on this entry. So the puck is chipped back up the wall. He knows he's going to get hit. And he loads up, protects it, and almost... Bertuzzi and Sanheim battling it out in front of the net. They were re really going at it. Trying to come through. Six minutes through here. Not a whole lot going on. Philly, though, coming away with the lead. Bushkin out of the lineup tonight for Toronto as Nyes plays it across. To Nylander shoots. That's blocked. Trickles back in front. Onyx, how's it going? Some other Leafs who are not feeling great as well. to pick this one up. Anytime someone misses a game because they're sick, you can count Green on VR, welcome. three, four, five other players not being 100%. In comes Tavares. Winds in. Has the puck stripped away, put in the corner. Nice in front. Trying to drag it through, can't put it on. Nylander collided there with the official behind the net. Nylander not too happy about that. Connecting, takes that pass from Zamula. And plays it up for Eric Johnson. The Francis the Chiron, is just giving it to Will and Nylander. Like, you know, accidents happen. I don't want you to be yelling at the player. Just sorry about that. Nobody meant to do it. Just let it go. Chiron is flexing his elbow. Uh, Lawton plays it back. And now he's getting a shot. Pinballs around in front. Knocked out by Brody. And McMahon flips it high in the air. Back down the flyer line. Adder out to center. Lawton batted at that. Have scratched their captain Sean Couturier tonight. Just named his captain last month, and he was not pleased about it. He didn't take the stoic high road, did he? No. He said he's not happy with how things have been, how he's been treated the last little while here. That's right. Without That's Marner, they've got to find a way of holding it together. In comes Tyler Bertuzzi, drops it back. Matthews a shot. Nice glove That's save glove there off the stick of Matthews as Matthews busted in. Yi, how's it going? Welcome in. Good evening. They're going to go to a commercial break. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We appreciate it. As you are coming in, hit that thumbs up button. We're halfway there. Whoa. All right, enough of that. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate it. And, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe as well. Tonight is our first game of three in a row. We got tonight, obviously, Toronto and Philly. Tomorrow, Toronto is taking on Ovechkin in the Capitals. That's going to be a fun game. And then Thursday, it's a choose-your-own-adventure. We have a poll up in the community section right now where you can decide which game we should cover. It's the Florida Panthers versus the Nashville Predators, kind of the best in the league versus the hottest in the league, or one of the best in the league versus the hottest in the league. 
And uh, the other game is the Edmonton Oilers and the Buffalo Sabres. That game is actually in the lead right now. So make sure you go get your vote in to decide which game we want to do. Obi Goat Kenobi, thank you so much. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. We appreciate it. Going to hit 12K. I don't think we're going to hit 12K tonight, but we we have been cooking and we have been moving. And everybody in this community has been so amazing. Well, almost everybody in this community has been so amazing. And we appreciate you all so much. It's really, it's you guys and gals and hockey fans that have made this what it is. So we appreciate one and all for your loyal support as uh, as we continue to to grow our channel and find new friends along the way to come and have a good time. Now, on that, you are more than welcome to trash talk all you want as long as it's the family-friendly variety. Uh, go ahead, tell me the Leafs suck, Matthew sucks, this guy's terrible, that guy's terrible, all that fun stuff. It's all in good fun. But I'm going to come right back at you. So if you're going to be dropping some bombs, I'm going to be dropping some bombs right back. Um... So it's all here to have a good time. If you want to say the Flyers are terrible, go right ahead. Uh, it's all about a good time. So welcome, and uh, let's have some fun. Here we go. Game is coming back from commercial break. It, it, it's not wrong. What he's no. saying is accurate, but it's not always practical about that. The human <laughs> element doesn't play a factor in the dynamics of a room and a team. That's right. It's a long Georgia way to get the voice back. By Edmondson as it's brought back <laughs> by Matthews. Yeah, I do need a haircut. That's uh, very true. I <laughs> Line. Not at home. What's going on? Yeah, welcome in. Dallas, welcome in. True statement, Tristan. Look <laughs> back in front. Knocked away by Samsonov. At the point, collector, welcome in. Plays it back. Eric Johnson, a shot through the traffic that bounced off the glove of Samsonov and plays called. We got Holmberg and Brody. Pushing and shoving at the side of the lead net. Are going after look at that Hathaway. Quick whistle on that one. Did, yeah. did the official think that Samsonov had it in his hand? Samsonov had it, had it right to the bench to get a little Samsonov getting his on skate his, work done. Or that little pad. lace come undone. There's a, there's a there's a skate lace that keeps the pad attached to the toe of the skate and <laughs> heavy shot from Eric Johnson. That's amazing. And the whistle went right away. He got it into his glove, but he dropped it. I guess that's why Rom blew the whistle. Quickly. We'll see how Sammy can do. I'm assuming with back to back nights, it's going to be uh, the Waller getting the start tomorrow night. We won't know that, of course, until tomorrow. But I don't think Sammy's going to play back to back. So we'll see. Now, he does have an 11 1 0 record against the Flyers, Samson off the so He has been able to really shut down these Philadelphia Flyers for the most part. Uh, Let's see what he can do here. Can he get this one back? Has ever done that. Very, very the low sh shooting first nine or eight and a half minutes here. Raven Suds, what's going on? Welcome in. He had a really tough time. He stepped away. Welcome to the party. He's come back. He's been brilliant. But on the entire year, Samsonov has yeah, the second and best winning chat. percentage of any goalie <laughs> in the entire league. So even in games where he wasn't playing great, the numbers might have been not have been that strong. He was finding a way to it's pick up points you, and pick up wins. You can't talk at the which is a credit to his team. And I guess it's a real what's to going on. Welcome in to get it done, even if he's not playing great All right, himself. Here we go. Flyers winning that draw. Shot right away. Now one sails just wide. Another shot blocked in front. Rebound. A couple of shots. Wow. Should clarify. No leap goal. Sammy had to be right there and right there quickly. As the Flyers just get a nice little opportunity. Sending a couple shots directly through. You watch how he goes inside position, engages with Tavares, and then everyone's moving in the offensive. Crosses forward to the puck. Tip is going up high. Outs. Outstanding. Right Absolutely play, outstanding. Noah's Ark, what's going on? Oh, on. Welcome in. For the face -off against Morgan Frost, who scored a pretty spectacular goal again. On Trying to drive through Toronto. Toronto. Can't take the puck away. Carrying it around back to the point. Back at the point. Eric Johnson slaps it back in. Zavola steps up. Going around side of the net to Varus, and they're trying to break it up, and he does. He steps out, plays it off the board, but he can't get it out. Philly walking right in with a shot. Sammy taking it off the shoulder. Here's Nice. Gets it up to Nylander. Nylander 
coming in. Knives going to the net, as is Tavares. Nylander puts it around the net. Picked that Lucas, I see you, I see you. Theo, Sammy, go in the house, what's up? Welcome to the show. Tavares back to pick this one up and send it across. Back to JT, he's on the move. He's going to turn and circle back. He's covered. Leafs now having trouble getting it over the flyer zone, over the flyer blue line. Now he does. Cujo, what's going on? And it's icing by the Flyers. So one of the one of the cool things I don't know if you have heard, Amazon has recently announced in partnership with the NHL, they're going to be following a 12 to 14 players. They're going to kind of show you a day in the life of these players. Artelio, what's going on? What are the Leafs doing? That's what we're trying to figure out. But yeah, Amazon doing a special coming up day in the life of a number of NHL players. I think that's going to be awesome. When, we, when I find out more information, I'll certainly relay it across. And here's the Flyers going short side and just misses. Billy picking it up. They're going to come again. This time the other side of the net. They flip it up. And Sammy is there as Faraby trying to put this one in. Coming off a win against Philly on Thursday. They go no, play uh, Carolina on Saturday. <laughs> Tough matchup. They had a good game going. And then late with the goalie pull. Philadelphia just continuing Aho, to throw all kinds of shots. And I say all kinds. They only have six shots. Getzel, a few of those have come in the last few moments. But they're going forehand, backhand, blocker side, stick side. Really testing Samuel. The defense, I think, is still waiting for hot dogs at the concession stands. Leafs D got to wake up. David Kemp in here against Cats. Which is not... Totally abnormal, but still a little concerning. Uh, and Philly wins Adam it again. Hart. A blast. That, goes wide. that one sails high and over. Edmondson back on it. Brings that back around. And here's Dewar on it. And Jennings stepped up on him. Loose in the corner. Scooped up by Ula Luxell. Philly maintains possession. Lilligan on him. Lilligan. And now Dewar bats it. Pass Jennings back down the fly. It's a race. Look at Bobby McMahon go. McMahon gets there first. McMahon sweeping it in front through the slot, back to the line. Here's a blast. Good opportunity, and Toronto cannot capitalize on it. Benoit with a blast from the point. Benoit. Back down the flyer zone. Harrison leaves it there for Ginning. To get him going. Ginning. Billy dumping this in nine minutes left here in very slow first period. Monty, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. If you are coming in, 200 people here, make sure you hit that thumbs up for us. Hit that like button. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe as well. Bill 5, Lucas Matthews has slowed right down. And headed right down the tunnel to the Leafs bench. And his left eye Ooh. looks a little bit. So Ryan Reeves coming out of that box, his left yeah, eye was back. shut completely. So he must have taken a bad shot. He went right to the Leafs room. Looks like he got popped in the eye pretty good. Here's Nylander trying to break free. Here he comes. Willie, face-off dot shoots way wide. Held in. Nice pinch there on the line. Toronto with possession. Brody has it. He's spinning around. Back to the line for Riley. Riley to Nylander. Nylander, quick shot. It drops down in front and hits somebody. Nylander picking up the rebound. It's an empty net. He's banking it over to Nyes. Good D there by Philadelphia. My goodness. Oh, Vetchkin's had a tough season. A very tough season. First overall pick of the 06 NHL draft. Here comes Philadelphia. Going to play this one up the side. They're breaking in. Flyers with a shot. Nice kick save there by Sammy. Off Forrester. And Domi's going to turn with it. Domi's got Matthews. He crisscrosses. Gives it to Matthews. So Domi shoot that. He does, and it goes just wide. Matthews can't pick up the rebound. Domi and Matthews, odd. these two together, I think they're great. Edmondson gives a shot to the flyer forward coming out of the zone. Lilligren back with it. He's going to play this one ahead. Misses everybody, and it's going to be an icing call against Tirana. 
So this one is coming all the way back to the Philly zone. Good effort, good play, driving hard. Starting to get some speed in here. Toronto's got to use the speed to their advantage. They're starting to get a little better in the face-off circle. Domi needs to play with Matthews. He has the speed, absolutely. Onyx, I absolutely cannot stand the digital ads on the boards. They drive me nuts. Here's Domi, comes away with it. Matthews going to circle back. He's going to push this back to Edmondson. He's going to go around behind the net. Leafs are running out of real estate in their own zone here. Back to Edmondson. He's going to go up off the boards. Turnover. Philly tried to bring it back, and it was stripped away temporarily by Homie Holmberg. Flyers coming up, playing it across into the Toronto zone. Hit there. Holmberg comes away with it. He gets rocked. Toronto now picks up the puck, coming right up the middle. Nice pass. Toronto coming in. Robertson trying to get open, and the shot's going to go just wide. It's coming back around. David, what's going on? Digital ads will forever suck. Oh, so annoying. Toronto going to flip this one down. Robertson having a nice game the other day. Kemp gets tripped down. Robertson trying to steal it. Can't. Held in at the line. Benoit with a shot, looking for the tip. That one goes right through. McMahon sending it in front, looking for a tip. That one also can't get through. Kemp was getting double team both sides, rights and lefts. Philly carrying this one in, back to the point. Here's a shot, Sammy down, rebound. Who was that? TJ Brody with a kick save and a beauty. Holy moly, that one was a close call. Coming all the way down, here comes Philly, starting to move it up. Six minutes to go. Six minutes to go here in the first period. Philly with it in the corner, turning it over. Toronto now, gonna move this up to Varis, a little back pass to Nylander. Let's bring the bas back pass back, because that's a good idea. Philly with it now, they're waiting. Both teams making some run changes. Again, if you're just coming in, make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're 29 likes away from 100, so make sure you tap that thumbs up for us. And tap that subscribe as well. Burt coming in, going to send this around. Or you can hit the thumbs down. That works too. Thank you. <laughs> Here comes Evan singing to play this one through. And Philly's going to steal it, walking right in. Coming across, shot. That one goes just wide. Cam York steps up. Right, Leo. Here they come again. Backhand off the pipe. Off the crossbar. Philly still buzzing around right now. Back to the line. Bad pass. This one comes out. And Philly brings it in on the offside. Holy moly. Can somebody get the Maple Leaf organization on the horn and figure out where on earth they are? Because apparently a Pee Wee team is out on the ice tonight. Flyers are just running over Toronto left, right, and center. I do not understand what is going on. Stick around at first intermission. We're going to be going over some news and notes from the general manager meetings that have taken place out in, I believe it's in Florida where they are. I think they're always in Florida. But we got a number of notes here, some uh, some hot button topics that we're going to, uh, that they're talking about that I'm sure we all have opinions on. So we're going to be going over General manager meeting news and notes coming up at first intermission. Is Marner the... You know, it's funny, Hayden. It's really funny you say that because when you look at what has been happening with the Leafs organization and with Marner's play, I wouldn't expect people to be like, hey, Marner's that impactful, right? But what has happened since he's been out? Matthews has fallen apart. That top line has fallen apart. Nobody could get it done. And this is a real important moment for Toronto. You know, Marner is due for a contract extension on July 1st. A lot of folks kind of wondered, you know, what kind of raise is Marner going to get? What is his value going to be? Well, if Marner all of a sudden missing key time and the Leafs are having some struggles, that's going to do a lot for his value. 
So I'm not sure what this is going to look like <clears throat> over the next couple of weeks. We will have to see how this team is going to come together and play. I love their second line. Right now, they don't have a first line. Matthews Domi is nice, but who else is going to be on that winger? Oh, Leo, I could not keep up with with these guys anymore. No way. Let's see if Toronto with five minutes left in this first period can they get something going? He's the playmaker. That's right, though. The defenseman. And I'm hoping that you know Domi can come in and play that role. Domi's hands are not as good as Martin's. Without Mitch Marner tonight, but he is a decent playmaker as well. So hopefully Lubushkin he can get back with an illness. He and Riley had formed a pretty reliable pair in his brief time here so far. So changes. And keep saying that Marner is days away from being day to day. Sounds like week to week to me. Here we go, Toronto. Over two, he's walking in. Going to dump this one in. He's that back for Domi. Still on. playing the wing on his line. Drops it back. McKay to Matthews. Back to the line Domi for Domi. Line. Domi. Domi looking, trying to Wide find an open shoot. lane with a shot right on and a nice and save. Harrison makes the stop on that. Domi was coming through. He made some nice moves. Had a good look. He was looking over at Matthews to see if he could get him the puck. He realized he didn't have a passing lane, so he didn't try to force it. Instead, he took the shot. So a really good heads up play there by Domi. You know, they, they put him in the middle and they're gonna read you know, it's gonna be Matthews, <laughs> Onyx, Mars, Domi, my Domi, goodness. And then Reeves fight. He doesn't, he doesn't like what he sees early and there you go. Leaf win a face off. That's a good start. Here's Nylander. I slot with a shot deflected live. Back to pick it up. Brody has it deep. He's gonna bring it up to the line. Now face off slot into the slot. Turning around. Both D were way too deep there. Here's Nice. He can't get his man loose. He's being pushed into the boards. Nice being forced off the puck here. He needs some help, boys. Billy's gonna bring this one out. Toronto's gotta regroup. Here comes Toronto, gonna dump it in. Nice this time down the left wing. Putting it in, he's gonna throw a hit. Nice job. Coming out in front, Tavares. Misses Nylander with the pass. Billy missed the pass the other way. Edmondson going to play this one up. Tavares trying to get it. It's going to squeeze out to Nylander. Nylander on the move. Coming in. Here's Lilligren. Lily taking a shot off the crossbar in that way. How many posts have we had in this game? That's regulation. What's happening right now? This is absolutely crazy. Back to the line. Toronto's going to hold this one in. Temporarily. Does it again? We also had a goal disallowed in the first period of that game. Flyers bringing it out. Now they walk into out. Toronto zone again. Flyers in there, bringing it. Pass intercepted. Here's an outlet pass. Toronto on the move down the left side. Pass across. Coming in for Dewar. Dewar can't control it. David Kemp is going to steal it back. Kemp goes down low to McMahon. McMahon taking a look. Lines are all jumbled up now. Then Watt throwing this one across. McCabe, he's just ripping this one in. Toronto coming through. Dewar to Kemp. Kemp tried to make a return pass. Couldn't. Here's McCabe. McCabe cycling back around. He's going to feed it all the way back to Benoit. Benoit's going to play this one up. Back to Benoit. Holy moly. There should be... Four and two cross parts of my math is correct. Crusty, it's crazy. Just coming around again. Philly, Aaron pass. It's going to come out. Brody picking it up. Brody takes it right back in. Brody down the right hand side. Cycles it around. Nobody there for Toronto. Flyers setting it up. Toronto knocks it down with a high stick. And that's going to get us a whistle with two minutes left to go here in the first period of play. And they're going to go to a commercial break. Vaughn, what's going on? Welcome in. They do need some lineup changes. The problem is, what do you do? What lineup changes can you come up with? Uh, that, is, that is a struggle. Uh, I, I wouldn't touch their second line. I like McMahon, Nylander, and, um, and I don't even remember who was in there. Uh, McMahon, Nylander, and who am I missing? You got Domi on that first line. Domi, Holmberg, and Matthews. Sorry, excuse me. Bertuzzi, Holmberg, and Matthews. 
Domi on the second line, but Domi seems to be going up on the first line. So they're shuffling bodies around all over the place to get things going. Um, I like Domi with Nylander and, and, uh, oh my gosh. And ne- I'm losing my mind. I tell you, Tavar, not Tavares, forget it. The lines are all mixed up right now. I'm trying to ru- figure it out as we go. David, how's it going? And my brain just isn't, my brain isn't mathing here today. When it started off, when the game started, they had Matthews, Holmberg, and Bertuzzi. Those three. Holmberg has seemed to kind of fallen off that. Um, McMahon, Domi, and Nylander was the second line. Domi seems to be moving up at times. But as is McMahon, they seem to be rotating through. Um, Of course, on the third line, they've had Robertson, Tavares, and Nyes. And and Nyes kind of looks lost out there as well. So yeah, blend on that on that third line, and and it's that top line that really is is failing. How do we get Matthews going? And I think that's why we've seen Domi out there a couple shifts with Matthews. Cats, it's just ginger ale. <laughs> it's the mystery green drink. So they are just coming back, trying to get in here again. Welcome in everybody. Welcome to the chaos. Really tough stretch. Thank you for hitting those likes. We're almost there. A few more to go. Smash that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button as well. We'd love for you to come back and hang Joe out with us. Probably hasn't hurt his stick handling at all. Oh, this is a former player of his. <laughs> now a steal there by Frost and a centering pass that's fluttered wide by Tippett. They're alive. What's going Back on? The boy Jimmy plays it back into Frost. And here is Morgan about Frost a month away the from the playoff. By the way, William Nylander and Francis Chiron sorted out their differences in the last TV timeout. And cooler heads prevailed. They had a smile and a chat. Sorry, sorry, as you would expect. <laughs> no, no vodka, no vodka. Robertson drops it off for Tippett. That's picked off by Nylander. Drops it off to Robertson. And now Nylander works in. Shoots that deflected. And Harrison kicked that up and out of play. So Philadelphia all of a sudden taking a look in the rearview mirror and there are a couple of teams looming. Right now the Flyers are the third team in the Metropolitan, that's fine, except if Washington catches them, now you're in that soup in the wild card race and you bring the other division into play. Tampa, right. Detroit, Buffalo potentially. Look at the positive, there's two ways for them to make it, wild card or third. Right. Probably need 91 92 to get there in the end. If they get seven points out of the seven game stretch, is that a good run for them? <laughs> that is better than good, especially when you consider the form they had heading into the stretch. It's not like they've been playing really well as of late, even before they got to this meat and rinder of a schedule. So Torts understands that. He's trying to coach them up. I think the scratching of Couture and everybody else was, you know, shake it up, bring some energy, bring some youth, and. And let everyone know, like, we're not just going down status quo. We're here to, to win and make the playoffs. Not behind the bench on Thursday night, serving that two-game suspension for refusing to leave the bench. After being Last minute. Gordon, how's it going? Last center. minute. Here we go. Toronto's got to pick this up. Sorry about that. Matthews plays it back in the corner to Domi. Back to the Ryan. line. Back around to Lily Grant. Lily throws it in, and he throws it a little too high up and out of play. Yes, that's right. Originally drafted by Toronto. Now remember, the Lightning were celebrating the 20th anniversary of their 04 championship. All those guys were there. So stick around intermission. Lots to talk about. Ten likes away. Smash that thumbs up. And, of course, we're two subscribers away to get into 11, 320. Make sure to hit those buttons for us. That could be true. And it is sort of funny if you're not the NHL or the officials. That's sort of true. There's Charlie, no good evening. Accountability, or he'll scratch you if you're the captain, and yet there he is. Well, getting suspended for two games at a pivotal time of the season, not very accountable behavior. I mean, it works both ways. Brody going to keep this one in. in it was a young, dumb Standing around, around there's a big hit. Mistakes young players make. I mean, and it's coming all the way down. Is yeah, it going to be ice? No icing fall. Not the 30 seconds to go. Absolutely. He did want to charge a bit of the dressing room in Vancouver. Got to spend the playoffs. I'm going to bring it in. Nice trying to chase this one down. So maybe he should be the one pointing out dumb mistakes. But he has certainly brought fire to Philadelphia. There's no question about it. And the 
Flyers are certainly relevant in this city again. And they needed an identity after the last couple of years, and he's provided and one. What a bad trade that was. Here comes the Flyers with five seconds to go. Nyes and Riley tying up Fairby, and that's going to do it. The horn is going to go. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Thank you for hitting those likes. All right, one nothing lead for Philadelphia. Let's go break this one all down. So, one nothing on a goal by Owen Tippett, his 25th from York and Frost. It was the first shot of the game that went in, and my goodness, that was just not good. Eight shots for the Flyers, seven for Toronto. Toronto leading in hits, 14 to eight. Toronto leading in faceoffs, 11 to nine. Earlier in this game, they were down in the faceoffs by a lot, so they've definitely picked that up. Uh, giveaways pretty low three for the Flyers two for Toronto nice to see a low number after the first period block shots even at four so all in all it's a pretty even game just one lucky shot finding its way through putting this one in so Philadelphia taking that lead uh, now but we'd love to have the flower in Toronto Guy, it, it's almost happened it almost happened last year but Shanahan put the Ixnay on that and there are rumors it almost happened again this year as well. A uh, couple of news to news items to note before we get into the general manager meetings. We talked earlier, if you missed it, Chris Simon, the latest tough guy who took his own life. So former enforcer, avalanche player, Chris Simon passing away. Um, of course, uh, Constantine Koltsov as well at the age of 42. Um, he took his own life as well. So two NHL players both losing uh, their lives today. And it's a sad day for that. Um, but we wanted to make sure to mention it. Uh, trade occurring yesterday in the PWHL. PWHL Ottawa acquired forward Tessa Venezova from PWHL Montreal in exchange for defender Amanda Boulier. So if you are a PWHL fan, uh, big trade between Ottawa and Montreal. And the PWHL has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, if you missed it, Florida Panther news. Florida Panther Dmitry Kulikov has picked up a two-game suspension for an illegal check to the head on Tampa Bay's Connor Sheary. It came uh, as Florida was actually in the midst of scoring. Kulikov coming in and got the chicken wing up a little bit uh, into the bucket of Connor Sheary. So Kulikov picks up a two-game suspension for that. And last but not least, on the news front, Wayne Simmons. Remember Simmer? Wayne Simmons? He has officially announced his retirement now, and he is going to sign a one-day contract with the Philadelphia Flyers. I love this. Signing a one-day contract with the Flyers, good for April 13th, where they were will they where they will formally celebrate his career. Wayne Simmons, you know, he wasn't able to really get things going when he came here in Toronto. He played more of a tough guy role. But in Philadelphia, he was a leader, a goal scorer. He was an all-around really good player, actually, for these Philadelphia Flyers. Um so at you know, happy to see they're going to honor and celebrate his career. So way to go, Simmons, and congratulations on your retirement. If you missed it, Hawking, he's there. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Triton? Hope you are having an okay day, my friend. Welcome in. I know how the family feels. So that is brutal for all. Not at home. Absolutely. It's tough news. Tough news for sure. Uh, Chris made a pass at my girlfriend in the game in London. No way, white trash guy. That's crazy. Uh, Kedis, uh had to figure that the Flyers would come out flying since they took a beating last game. And they certainly did. They certainly did. All right. Let's uh, take a look. Did I just see? Okay. Let's talk about the general manager meeting. So what this is, for those who don't know, every year around this time, all the general managers in the league get together uh, with the upper brass of the NHL, and they have a bunch of conversations. 
and they they discuss what's working what's not working changes um roger what's going on changes they want to implement um they kind of start proposing new changes new things and it gets the process going so a couple of things that are for they're kind of looking at implementing immediately shall they kind of pass the process they go through out there gm need to get rid of peros rick peros was part of the conversations i'm going to get to that um but two additional challenges they'd like to get in now i know a lot of us already can't stand the offside challenge um you know especially when the play goes on for like five minutes and then the team scores and they're like oh no it was offside and then it's offside by like a hair and i get it offside is offside but there's two new challenges that they're looking to implement one is a high stick challenge we've seen it from time to time where a player goes to lift um the stick and he actually kind of knocks his own stick comes up and hits him in the face or his teammate's stick goes up and hits a guy in the face and so they're looking to challenge that we've seen a lot of times where a guy goes to the box uh, a lot of toronto times where a guy goes to the box when they didn't actually do anything so this would allow the coach to challenge it uh it means that you know you got to be very careful because again if you are wrong in your challenge you are going to get uh penalized again uh peros needs to step down he's so inconsistent i couldn't agree with you more the other challenge they're looking to implement is the puck out of play so when a guy goes and shoots it up over the glass and they get called for delay a game they're looking to challenge this um because often there'll be a slight contact on a stick or it'll just touch the glass and it'll go out of play so this will give the coaching staff the ability to challenge it now from a lot of the ones where they've actually shown replays or close-up replays it's not all that often um that i see a potential of this getting overturned um, most of the time it's clearly a straight out but they are adding it to a challenge so a coach can be able to say nope it hit the glass or it hit another player um, these two challenges are going to make the video replay teams even more important than they already are um, coaches will tell you these replay teams who review and look for the hand passes the offsides all that stuff they're so crucial my fear is this is going to slow down the game even more um i get it but as long as it works i don't want to have to sit here and wait for 15 minutes while they're trying to see if a puck just touched the tip of the glass or somebody's stick as it went out games are going to last for hours yeah it's as long as it works and they don't extend it far too loose they can go that's right they can go down two men if they lose imagine that right you take a delay game penalty or a high stick and you challenge it and you you lose it all of a sudden now instead of a five on four it's a five on three so that is a good point rick um, it is a big risk to to challenge these these plays obviously if it's a goal and it's an offside you're not risking a two-man advantage right you're just risking a penalty so those challenges were a uh, uh, you know big discussion also one of the things that's going to be instantly implemented is hanging your legs over the boards you'll notice when there's a line change coming or something's going on guys are already sitting there with their leg over the boards waiting to hop on the ice especially if they're waiting for someone like nylander who's traditionally slow coming up the ice to jump off the guys wait and hanging the feet over for now on you are not going to be allowed to do that you have to wait till the guy is within range before you can jump on the ice you can't sit there while the puck is in play dangling your legs over it part of this and i i like this i don't mind it part of what really bothers me with this play is it's going to be up to the referee and linesman's discretions when making the call they're supposed to be able to warn the benches if they're doing it give them ample warning before calling a penalty a bench minor well we all know you know sometimes the officials like to take over a game so what if there's an official who's just in a bad mood one day doesn't give the appropriate warnings and calls it 
again, you're putting a more discretionary actions in the hands of the referees and the linesmen, but you're not making the linesmen and the officials have to be accountable, right? You have to be accountable. If you're giving them more power, you got to make them accountable. Uh, one of one of the other things that has been talked about is the three on three overtime. Um, how many people here in this chat? How many of you are fans of three on three overtime? Let me know. Do you like three on three or you don't like it? Would you rather it just the game end in a tie? Would you rather overtime? Um, you know, be five on five and maybe played longer four on four. I'm, I'm just curious who likes three on three and who does not like it. Hayden likes it. Seth is going for the flyers. Gordon says, no way. Five on five for 20 yet. Yeah. Rick likes it. Not a fan. Vaughn, not a fan of it. Gordon says five on five. More open ice means more chances to get rid of it. Just a fan of overtime, overtime. Let's go six periods. Not three on three, longer five on five. So they brought this up and they they started the conversations and they figured at this time, they're not going to make any changes to overtime. They're going to keep the three on three overtime. They don't feel that there's a, a need to change it. They feel it's working um, and it's not an issue personally i think it's a little short i'd like i know overtime has always been five minutes i would like to see overtime extended we've seen uh in the last several weeks some pretty amazing overtime games we've seen some wild overtime games that have just been incredible so i'm okay for the three on three sometimes you know it can be a little risky if you screw up it's gonna cost you Nature's little encounters. What's up? Three on three. Very exciting. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, so I three on three is here to stay at least right now. Oh, and welcome in. You just extend it longer in five minutes. Yeah. You know what? What I what bothers me? The one thing I don't like about the three on three is, you know, the first team that gets the puck can realistically control the puck possession and the puck play for like three quarters of the overtime. Um, so the only thing I'd like to see is maybe put in, and I hate to say this cause it's not hockey, but some kind of a, a shot clock, right? Um, in overtime, you don't want a team to just hang on to the puck the whole time. Uh, you, there's gotta be some way to force the players to have to make a hockey play and make an attempt on net. That's the only thing I, I would like to see is, um, when they get going and it's end to end back and forth action, um, it is wild. It is awesome. But when it's one team just sitting there skating around in circles, it's not, uh, it needs a little help. I know Hayden. I know. And that's why I was very, very hesitant to say it. BCHL what's going on, but I just, I love it when it's end to end action. And I feel sometimes they need a little, a little kick to get it going. Uh, so three on three is here to stay. Um, I heard in one of the minor leagues, and I, I apologize because I, I, I didn't write down what league it was. Um, they're actually toying with seven minutes of overtime. It's such a random number, um, seven minutes. But the fact that there's a, another league, a, a younger league, minor league, that's testing seven minutes of overtime is exciting because that's usually how these things start. They try it out in, a, in another league and it starts working its way up to the uh, the top. Uh, you know, you're going to be cursed with five overtimes. Oh, probably, Dallas. Probably. And we'll be right there until a goal is scored. We might not be awake, but we will be there. Uh, Nando, do you like LeBron James? Not particularly. I think he's a whiner. <laughs> he's that, I mean, listen, he's one of the great basketball players of all time, but I think he's a whiner. Um, playoff overtime is fun. Playoff overtime is fun. So, and again, to be clear, playoff overtime is not changing. <laughs> That's still going to be five on five until there is a winner. Uh, in the last bit of news, talking about um, the player safety in Peros, it wasn't actually on the agenda um, from my understanding to discuss, but in some closed door rooms, things actually got very heated 
uh, between some of the general managers talking about their relationship with player safety and with George Peros and what general managers want is more of a relationship, more communication to come from George Peros to understand what he's doing. And George Peros and I, listen, I've I've been very hard on player safety and George Peros and what they have actually done is George Peros, kudos to him, walked through, he met with all the general managers and walked through his process in assigning uh you know what the suspension or what the punishment will be. So Peros is working to build a better relationship with general managers, um, trying to set things up there, getting player safety more involved with uh, the process they go through so general managers are aware. Um, George Peros has been in that position for a little while now. I don't know why it's taken so long for him to build a proper relationship with the NHL general managers, but I'm, I'm glad to see it's happening. It is a huge step forward for the NHL. If they can get this player safety thing figured out because I'm, I'm all in favor, right? I I don't like this guy gets six games. This guy gets four games. This guy gets a $2,000 fine. And they all did the same thing. Uh, They need to figure it out for consistency purposes and kind of get that on track. Once that is good to go, things will be much better and in a much better place uh, in the NHL. So glad to see that is starting to take place. So those are all the news and notes from the general managers meetings. Uh, I'm sure there will be a whole lot more to come out over the next couple of days. Cross check to the head is one to five games. It should all be one. Exactly, Rick. That's exactly my point. Now, most guys, when they go to cross check someone in the head, they're not saying to themselves, well, if I do this, I'm going to get five games or I'm going to get two games. They don't really think about that. I, but it would be nice to know if something happens in the heat of the moment and you're like, oh man, I'm going to get suspended for that. You're going to know, okay, well, I'm going to get two games or I'm going to get five games. Instead of it being a guessing game, it's like you're waiting. Do I get a phone hearing or do I get an in-person hearing? Darn it, I got an in-person hearing. That means it's a minimum of five. Or, hey, yippee, I got a phone meeting. That means it's only going to be a maximum of four. You know, it's it's kind of a joke. But I'm glad the NHL is taking it seriously to figure it out. Again, the one thing I want to see come out of this is hold the referees accountable. That is, I don't care about any more challenges. I don't care about overtime. If you had to fix one thing, make the referees accountable. That will solve a lot of issues here in this league. All right, intermission is coming to a close. They are back on the ice. We're going to get set. Thank you for hanging out with us through intermission. Great conversation. As always, it's time to rock. Thank you, new subscriber, for hitting that button. We appreciate it. Uh, What jersey does Mike Myers wear at Leaf Games? Uh, A Leaf jersey. (laughs) I'm not sure which jersey he wears. Riley taught that kid a valuable lesson. Crest certainly did. Certainly did. And that's when the Leafs got hot, right? The Leafs played really well after that. And then they got cold and they're looking to pick it up. So here we go, second period, time to get moving. We'll play tomorrow night, you'd think, against Washington. Thank so you for hitting that subscribe. Getting into the game tonight if he has to or something. Of course, the Leafs have three goaltenders on the roster. they got to get them where they start like sending the next goalie to the city before. Like pitchers. Like pitchers. Way, we're exactly still four the, likes the shy if you haven't hit that like button. Smash that like button. Chilling tonight. Brody. Lines that back and shoots. That's blocked in front. Yes, baseball pitchers need that rest. They normally only play 18 holes on a game day. <laughs> DeLaurier. Jacob, welcome in. DeLaurier and absolutely. had that scrap with Ryan Reeves in the first three. Reeves has not returned to the Toronto bench. Wow, Reeves not returning to the bench. That line must be really bad. Tony goes off his skate. Taylor was in on it. Prep coming in with a Here's gifted Hathaway. membership. Prep, Hathaway. thank you so much. Oh, not again. Can we not?
not play a full minute of a period without the Flyers scoring. Has been all over this game My goodness. This is TJ Brody and Morgan Riley just kicking it around. Under Brody, a, one -on -two a bad check. pass Brody to Riley. Riley misses Riley it. The Flyers it. bring it to the face off it over shot. The and again, really Samsonov just can't catch sort of up to it. Tip it has a My goodness. And then it's Sanheim just... No excuse on this one. Samsonov just Samsonov blew this in front, on a bit. Although, hang on a second. Not they're gonna not a little bump here guys. by polling. Are they going to challenge it? Under soft no, they're not. Darn it. Many I hope the they would challenge it. Polling with a little bump on Samsonov. But they're going to deem it wasn't here. enough. Now, here comes Matthews. Matthews right in. Matthews passing it across. He hit the bloody goalpost. Max Domi, a beautiful pass. He couldn't put it in. Now, Forrester with a backhand. John Samson the save on that. I would have bet my house that Austin Matthews was going to shoot that puck. So did everyone think. Harrison was so far to the net challenging. Matthews would have been a perfect response for the Leafs. Quick transition play. So Austin Matthews score five hole the other night. And he puts it right on Domi's Oh, it wasn't the post. It was a great block by Cam York. And York. Did not even play that, that well, but he'll get credit for a block and a goal save as Domi Matthew hit it into the legs that. of Cam York. Oh, can't my believe goodness. it. Here we are, 100 likes. Wow. Thank you all so much. And remains 2 0 Philadelphia. Early goal in the first, early goal in the second. Matthews had the natural hat trick of the game in Toronto in February to lift the Leafs. Now in comes Nylander with a chance of a stop made by Arison. Another chance at the side of the goal. Tavares has that turned away. McCabe kicks at it. Here is Tavares, but taken away. Penalty coming up. Connecting a penalty coming down. It's going to be a hooking call. And now Oops, the Flyers. Leafs will go to the power play. A real area of concern for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Philadelphia penalty number 48. Two minute minor for hooking. The reality for the Leafs is that over the last nine games, they have one goal and they're All right, power play coming up. Let's see. On the power play. Oh, my goodness. And there's the hook into the hands right there by Morgan Frost. A good call. The Tavares had the puck, took the, the hook. Inner slot shot, they were first. Now they're 30th. Goals, they were second. Now they're last. They just are not getting the puck. Wow, they're last. They went from first in the league to last in the league over the last nine games. In the last nine games, when they were one of the best getting there in the first 60. They don't get a lot of chances to work on it. Only Columbus and San Jose have had fewer power play chances this year than Toronto. Leafs are one for the last 24 in the last nine games. And of course, Bill Marner. McMahon winds in. Robertson after it. Now picked out by Domi. Back for Nyes who pokes that back. And of course, you better watch Philly yeah. going shorthanded. 15 shorthanded goals to lead the league. Connecting time for the individual lead with five shorthanded goals in the year. They've got one in each game against the Leafs this year. Yeah. Robertson picks it out for Domi. Domi works in down to Nyes. Nyes pivots back. Now Robertson on it. Domi back around for McMahon. Thanks that back to Robertson. They're not even connecting passes Nyes right now. Back this is atrocious. This, this is just ugly. Mark, so how's pressure. it going? Philly's going to steal it. Here they come. Sammy with the poke check. Terrible one minute of the power play. Let's Leafs see what they can do in minute number two. Matthews winds in with Nylander. Nylander shoots. He ripped that wide. And back at center ice is connect. New gets squeezed there by Lilligren. Lilligren bumped up to the top power play. Lilligren spends 15 seconds standing Matthews behind his own net. My God. Nylander. Here's Nylander, cross ice pass, goes. walking in, falling. Bertuzzi kind of gets his feet taken out from under him. He can't get the shot off. Matthews has that taken away, but really good. Trying to play it back in. It oh my goodness! Ten seconds right. left to go in the most atrocious power play I've seen. Nothing clean at all. So much pressure. Carl oh, can't string together two, three passes. Uh, Obi, I, I actually like them together. Matthews needs someone with speed and with, with some good passing. Monica, how's it going? Welcome in. And he'll hang on to that.
Right, to put a bow on what's so going this, on with this Toronto team Power right now play. is so has lost red its identity. Is where all the shots come from. This lost is when the first 59 games. Look where the red is. Right the, in front the of the net. The first 57 net. games on power play the attempts, games, they've been directly in front of the net. The last the nine games, even great shooters like Toronto they've been way back out, the almost the top the face off they can from so right in front. They're just not they getting good shots in there. But the identity of this team has totally disappeared. On the power play. Oh. Hey Ryan, no personal attacks or you'll be kicked. You're more than happy to come in and talk about how bad the Leafs are, but no attacking anyone in the save on that. And you talked about the recent struggles, Mike. And yeah. This, this is crazy to think that. I mean, this, this is unbelievable. Flow, right? Like you can't stress over bad results necessarily. I mean, this what it comes sense. down to is again their strategy, right? Their strategy is just not been good. The Leafs got to figure out what on earth is going on. Is that the process has gotten away from as we just talked about and just showed? It's not like they're getting good chances and not scoring. They're not Triton, getting good can. chances, and because of that, they are not scoring. Matthews wins that face-off back to Ronnie. Across he goes to Brody for Domi. Now Bertuzzi back with it. Got a Bertuzzi back to Ronnie. To the point he goes, Brody back across to Max Domi. Feeds that down, chip wide by Matthews. Ryan, that's Bertuzzi. warning number two. Back in the corner for Matthews. You're Roll welcome to line. trash now, talk, but no personal attacking people. Pass this Brody, now we got it back up. Brody to Riley. Back across, Domi. Chips that to Matthews along the wrist shot, blocked in front. And there's Palin back with him. Matthews back defending. And Matthews a good job to take Palin off the puck. Leafs only have nine shots at this point in the hockey game. My goodness. Brody. Up ahead to nine. Mr. Holmgren, what's going on? A hundred percent agree. I try to center it. They, they had they, nothing away. going on with these guys. With a steam. Fires are changing. Nylander Here's Nylander, nice play to break Nylander in. Going to pass this one over. Tavares with another freaking post. How many posts? Cherry, what's going on? Welcome in. Fires that wide. Is this net regulation size or what? Which the goalie say, not even a shot. <laughs> That's just good angle. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Well, Appreciate it. Shoot for. Look out. Holy goalpost. Here's a break for Philly coming in. They shoot. They miss wide. Joel Faraby just missed there. Well, the Flyers have Tavares with it. Tavares. Five star chances here. Not going to play this around. They've been the better team. At least probably with one. Great chance was the Domi one that didn't even get to the net. And this is going to be held on to with Neil standing right there. The Philadelphia Symphony Orchestra tonight. My goodness. Come on, Leafs. Time to get things going. Got to pick up the pace. So, one of the things we, you yeah, know, I'll save it until the commercial break. Come on, Leafs. Stop shooting for the posts. Two for Philly. <laughs> right, Lee? Benoit. Holy goalposts, Batman. Now Simone Benoit. Here's a shot coming in. Tip just wide. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Here's Benoit. He can't come up with it. Philly racing down here, and no, they're going to call it an icing. McCabe gets there just, just ahead of it. Uh, Krista, because the power play, the lines are a little juggled up right now. But yeah, it's, it's been they don't know what's up or what's down. They're having all kinds of issues. It's been it's been Bertuzzi, we see Domi. They can't find anyone that's connecting properly with that. And you know, part of Austin Matthews' responsibility, as being as good as he is, is to make whoever is there successful alongside him. Matthews going to take the draw. Nope, they're going to... I also wonder for that up and do it again. Domi specifically, he's such a—he's almost too deferential to Matthews in the offensive zone, right? Which is normal. Matthews wins the draw. Riley walking in. Riley putting it across the slot. They can't get it. Domi diving across to hold it in as, as Riley was in too deep. Just coming around in the slot. Here comes Philly. Philly bursting by everyone. What speed? Walking right around Brody. Coming in. Great save by Samsonov. 
Nice little feed, Kaneki trying to put it in. Sammy going down, kicking that bat out. My gosh. Gosh. Brody, the pylon just got skated right around. Domi to Bertuzzi, long pass up. Here's Brody. Why Brody? Lead, why are you leading the rush? Your defense. Brody in on the four check, all alone, holding this up on the board. My gosh. The Great right save now. there by no Sammy, though. Him this year. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. It's, it's not there. It's I think we're going to need a boat. <laughs> 37K there. Here's a shot that one's deflected just wide. Say, Sammy being led out to dry, absolutely. Zone. Toronto trying to come in, they cannot do it. Plays it back up. Picked up by Robertson. Rink wide to end Brian, the, the question we don't know. All they're line? saying is he's day to day of being day to day. So I think there's a chance we might not see Marner back until just before the playoffs. High ankle sprain is, you know, you're four to six weeks. And I know it's been about a week or two already. 12 minutes to go here. Toronto has it behind the net. Dewar carrying this one around. He's going to cycle this back. Tavares can't get it. And Philly has a lot of their stars sitting tonight. So was Toronto looking too far forward looking at tomorrow's game against the Caps? Here's a shot. Sam is going to steer this to the corner. And puts that back into the flyer zone. And Ronnie Hatter back to pick it up. Philly turning this one, putting it in. Yes, brains take a long time. Remember, Lilligren was out for a long time. Wall was out for a long time. Both with high ankle sprains. And when the McCabe hits it right in front, Matthews can't get there. I don't understand why our defensemen are leading the rushes. He's setting it up. Back to the line. Here's a blast. Sammy goes down and kicks that one out. Picked up tip forward. Four Leafs coming in wide. Now one of them breaks off and goes to the bench. Matthews can't pick up this puck. Bobbles it in front. My goodness. Flyers setting it up. Here's a shot. Hits Sammy. Comes right back towards the net. Sammy's going to close his legs on it and hang on. Mark, how's it going? Welcome in. Mark's here now. Time to turn the game around. We were waiting for you, Mark. We're going to switch hats here. We're going to try and do, we're going to try and do something. All right. Now, if you're just coming in, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't been here, my name is Sam. Welcome in. I'm a, I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan from Toronto. Born and raised. Love it in Toronto. Um, and coming up just by being here. Yeah, soon. Just by being here. And coming in the chat, you are earning points. You can get points to bring up redemptions. We haven't really talked about it much today. But you can bring up leaf graphics. You can bring up flyer graphics. Or you can be like Triton and drop a freeze. And make me have to freeze. You guys get to play with them all stream long. As well, our channel members get all the custom emojis to play with throughout the evening. So... Just a couple of things that you guys can use along the way. Now, channel members, um, I know you have the gamble game where you can gamble your points. Uh, I know some of it hasn't been calculating exactly as we expected. Um, so I do have an open support ticket with the company uh, whose product it is we use for them to review and look into it. So you can still gamble. It just takes a little bit longer for it to be calculated around. You can check your points at any time by doing exclamation mark points in the chat. That will tell you exactly what you have earned up to date. And then you can bring the graphics up. But right now, I'd like to be able to redeem Leaf Find Your Game because it is just oogly. There it is. Thank you, Dallas. Yeah, there's my email for you, Leo. Feel free to shoot me an email if you have any questions or comments. Uh, I'm always more than willing to answer them for you off stream. Uh, we also have our website, samwellb12experience.com, which you can go over to 
and uh, you can get a hold of us that way as well if you go to the about page samuelb 12 experience.com slash about there's a little box at the bottom where you can put in your message and that will send notification and i'd be happy to answer you that way as well the All right, let's see. We're about halfway through this hockey game. About time for Toronto to turn it around. Let's see what they can do. Among other teams. Cam chips that in and back to pick it up. This case. Center ice to Laurier. Pass it that. Taken away by Dewar. Wine feed McMahon for camp winding in just rolled off his stick. Take it no away. breaks, no breaks from this team. Right right now. This is the sign of the goal now picked up by all they need. Itself. If the Leafs can get one, you'll up see it go straight to their legs and turn things around real quick. Right on the heels of the Flyers. Metro Division standing. Dewar sent flying was back to the official, but. Francis Giron says right away, no. Nope. Innocent collision. Here's Morgan Frost on it. Knocked down by Tavares. Tavares plays it back around. Here's Nyes with it. Now back at the point. Oh, they're going to shot. Tipped wide by Tavares. Tip it. Is it up in the air with the center ice? Well, you're going to get connecting. And Frost watching him. And Sandheim is back to pick it up. Here comes Kinect Philly. Philly Kinectney going to shoot this one in. After this tip. Mentioned he was part of the hall. Drew, nice little move there by Tavares tip. to get it up to Nice. Nice. The bad pass. Brody's going to pick it up. Brody with a bad pass into the corner for Willie. Willie. Going to feed this back. Matthews. He bobbles it. In front, Riley. Nice going to tip it down. Willie knocks it down. We got a virtual wave coming up. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Hey, all you got to do is get your wave hands up in the air. Maybe that's where we need to turn the tides. Let's get the virtual wave rolling here. Now Zamula. This is back, and it's back down to the leaf zone. Here come the Leafs. They're going to turn. Benoit, one hand on the stick, makes a nice move. Benoit going to carry it in, but again, another defenseman leading the rush here for Toronto. Matthews in the corner, sliding it back to the point. Pass was for McCabe, Benoit intercepts. Benoit goes tumbling into the corner to two-on-one Philadelphia. McCabe going over. Philly walking in. Nice little back check there by Domi. Domi coming back to play hero. Picked up by Max. Max, he's taking a look, starting to move it ahead. With their big four. Valerie's, I didn't see this team improving. Coach, yeah, we need a coach change for sure. Here's Matthews, going to pull it out in the corner. Bertuzzi trying to feed it to Matthews. Instead, you got to shoot that. And here's Edmondson. Edmondson gets five flyers, all five flyers on him. Bertuzzi hops on somebody's back. Edmondson, the flyers just collapsed right around him. All right, Leo, thank you. I will take a peek. Edmondson really getting in there. Seven forty-four to go here in the second. Flyers lead by two. So they're going to take a commercial break. And my goodness, they need to figure this out. They need to figure this out real fast because we're we're past the halfway point of this game. Toronto definitely is struggling. Dan, how's it going? Madeline, what's going on? Welcome in. They are definitely struggling, and I don't know what they can do to really pick things up. But I don't know where where do you go? What how do you how do you combat this, right? How do you make things better? This team is clearly struggling to get up and get going. Leafs should apply for FIFA. You know, the Leafs, they're right in it with the hits. They're right even. You know, it's 21 hits for Philly, 19 for Toronto. So physically, they're in it. 
You know, still only with two giveaways, although I question that number. They're right there. Leafs are right there. But why why can they not get anything going? That I just I'm struggling to understand offensively why they can't connect to make a pass, why they can't get things going. That's what the frustrating part is for me. You miss 100% of the shots. That's truly, yeah. Lee Gretzky in the house. Benoit actually getting some some uh, jobby. His chin is bleeding as they're just coming back. Creates a gap because he beats the first four, drives it wide. It's not a bad I idea didn't see him get a high and stick in the face, in but his net. chin is cut. He's, he went for he's another bleeding one there. Resulted in this three on two that was strung out, eventually broken up by Jake McCabe. But the last chance, it's it just, it just, just so many uh, bodies, so much. You just need to get things in and get going. Traffic Again, thank you so Philly much to those that are coming and hit that subscribe. We appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. But we will be here all season a lot of long. They are significantly better today right. than they were on Thursday. Which you expect. Which we were counting on and the Leafs should have been prepared for as well. Tavares in to take the draw against Lawton. Tavares with a Puck face off against Lawton. Scramble him. Tavares actually dropped the stick as he's going to get waved out and they're going to do this again. Who steps in. But Toronto is, they've come back and they're leading by quite a margin now, 58.6% in the face-off circle. Puck has dropped Toronto. Thought they won it for a second, but Philly comes away with the puck and they're going to clear. Toronto back with it. Lilligren going to play this up off the sideboards. Gets it to the neutral zone, but cannot get it all the way out. Here comes Philly right back. Flyers walking in with a chance. Drop pass. Bringing it around behind the goaltender. Nylander going in the corner. He doesn't come with it. Down just behind the goal line. Circling now around behind the net. Nylander, cross ice pass. Toronto's going to get it over the red line. So we got Robertson, Nylander, and Tavares together now here. We got a... We got a, a like penalty. A stick. You can hear it. Nylander will go off. The Willie, oh. Toronto number 88, Martin Pally for slashing. The Nylander goes to the box. A terrible penalty. So when you have the puck play possession play coming in, you cannot take those penalties. There's a swing. Yeah, it's up the other hand. Good call. It was a Robertson slash I heard, which I was surprised by. And here's the so on the power play, Leafs Toronto is 20, the or on the penalty kill, excuse me, Toronto is 24. The Leafs are fifth in the league in the East, but 24th worst amongst playoff team on the penalty kill. This but, hasn't been good this year. But, but here is the Achilles heel for the Flyers. Yes. Flyers come in. They tried to drop that back. But they've scored an East game against Toronto. Yes. Despite their terrible power. It really play. has, Hayden. It really York, has. Back for Thibodeau. Back pass for York. Back pass. Here's a shot. That one sails high. just high. Bouncing puck just missed the head of the official. Chiral. Morgan Frost winds in with it. Back to Tippett. Owen Tippett moves in. Drops it back. At the line is York. Feeds it across. Tippett shoots. Taps it off the same on that. Sammy deep in his back net is able to get a pat on. Keep six. What's going on? That pass down to Faraby. Faraby across to Frost. And Morgan Frost drops it back. York a hard shot. That's deflected back in the corner. Tippett with it. Out for Frost. Back to York. For Tippett. For the goal mouth he goes. Faraby trying to center it. Now flips it back around. No out. goal. Somehow that foul. stayed out of the net. In the net. Morgan Frost can't believe that didn't just stick Six to Six minutes to go in the second period. Frost having a conversation the with the, the official. Flyers are ranked last in the league on the power play. They have been each of the last two years. Uh, Hayden, Sammy and Domi, I think, have been the two best players for Toronto. The power play three straight times. Because they began keeping track of the staff. Shot another great save by Sammy. How much longer can Samsonov be making the saves? Now, Zimbabwe with a drive that's tipped wide. They don't look like the worst power play in the league right now. It's hit. Here's a break. Big man on a breakaway, shorthanded. Oh. Bobby McMahon tied to drag it and flip it lightly, blocker side. 
Tried to be a little cute. That did not go well. Another great save by Samsonov. My goodness. Remains a 2-0 lead. Five to go in the second period. In comes Nylander. Nylander, great move. Oh, and the goalpost. Oh, my gosh. Another goalpost for Nylander. Are you serious right now? My gosh, just ridiculous. They're going to go to commercial break again. Just absolutely ridiculous. They cannot get this in, and I do not understand why, what on earth they are doing. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but this is the most frustrating I have been watching this team play. It makes absolute no sense whatsoever. It just doesn't. The chances, the goalposts they've been hitting. I mean, that's that's what's frustrating, right? The amount of goalposts. Uh, let's see here. All right. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being frustrated along with me. Ah, uh, Leafs cannot. Madeline, they can't. Madeline, I love your picture too. That's awesome. Peter Griffin from Fortnite. That is fantastic. Ryan, Leafs cannot hit anything. If the Leafs were throwing a football through a tire, they would not even be close. They would not be able to hit a beach ball through this a soccer net. They cannot do anything right now. They've had so many posts tonight. They've been battling hard. They've been trying to get it through, and it is just an absolute joke. Torts is laughing. He is laughing. I would be laughing, too. The amount of guys that Philly has set, sat tonight. Listen, the good news, the good news, it's only two goals. It's only two goals. If the Leafs can score one here towards the end of this period in the next four and a half minutes, there'll be a chance. Right, there'll be a opportunity for them to come back here, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, let's see, let's see if they can figure this out because, oh, super, super frustrating. I mean, they've been coming closer, right? Nylander gets hauled. He had the goaltender deked out and about, and he puts it just off the post. It doesn't come any closer than that. So, I mean, it's post city right now. Let's see if they can turn it around. Let's get one in the next four and a half minutes. Then it becomes a very different hockey game. Here's Matthews coming in. Tries to put it to Bertuzzi. Not strong enough on the pass. Back to the line for Riley. Taking a shot. That one goes wide. Bertuzzi trying to keep it in. Philly's going to pick it up, and they are on the move. Flyers coming down the right-hand side when facing their direction. And there's a little tackle as Riley goes down. The Flyer player on top of him. The puck is underneath him. Everyone's digging away. Flyers come out, and Sammy's going to kick it. Guy has two hands holding Domi's stick. No call. Domi has to rip it out of the hands of the Flyer player. Adder going to play this back to the line. Flyers coming in with the shot, and they score. you got to be flipping kidding me. Holy moly, how many shots from so far out can they make and score? Another one. Morgan Riley is arguing. Morgan Riley is not happy. The puck comes right back to him. He's walking along the blue line to the middle of the ice. A shot. Brody and Bertuzzi right in the puck lane. No way that Samsonov could see this. So he just absolutely misses it. My goodness. 
And the Leaf defenders don't <laughs> get out of the eyesight. Not, of not a good start. Not a good finish here. The wrong team has scored. The Leafs needed to get one. So Frost. Flyers traded Braden Shen to St. Louis in 2017. Got two first round picks. He's one to take Joel Faraby, the other to take Morgan Frost. Frost has had an up and down year though. And heating up of late. Nylander back across. Nice with a chance. Save. The assist number 23. Right now Konechny racing in on Tavares. And Konechny collides with Tavares and knocks him down. Ben Wong, Rick Wong for McCabe. Inside three to go here in the second period. Oregon Frost, who grew up watching Leaf games. Bench game, Brody. <laughs> Brody has had a not good game. Not good game at all. John B, what's going on? Welcome. Maybe announcing in his head. <laughs> we used to long for Andy Frost. Let's call him one of your goals there with the first moves into. You're going to screen the goalie, block the shot. How about just don't screen the goalie? Now picked up by Brink. Flyers again coming in. It goes off the inside skate a little grin into the corner. Camper. He's going to carry this one up the middle. And going to drop it down. Toronto trying to set it up. The pass is deflected. Dewar is going to hold it in. Quick shot, though. The Flyer is going to pick it up now. Lead driving me absolutely crazy. John Tortorella has been hard on Morgan Frost this year. He was a healthy scratch in the home opener and six straight at that time. But now three goals in his last four games. And a player nicknamed Frosty the goal man. Carlos, how's it going? Super sloppy. Super sloppy. It's not even funny. Madeline, it is really stressful. Uh, John, Boosh is out with illness. It's all it said. He's out with illness. Our defense looks playoff ready. Maybe for like NHL 24 on PlayStation. Road Warrior, what's going on? <laughs> Road Warrior, is your house hunting? Good luck. See some of the skill he has been a good week for Morgan Peter. Frost. What's up? Now we have him right where we want him. <laughs> oh my goodness! The Leafs are giving Ryan exactly what he wants. So at least there is one happy camper right now. <laughs> this is bad, bad, bad. That's a good question, Lee. That is a very good question. Every player in Philadelphia bench. <laughs> can you imagine if Toronto can come back? I gotta put the glasses on. If Toronto can find a way of coming back, Tort Torts would lose his mind. Going with a shot, it's there, and Philly's gonna knock it out of the air, and this is gonna come down the ice. Lily back to pick it up. Last minute to go here in this period. Bertuzzi cross ice. Matthews going to knock it down. Sending it back across. Henry, how's it going? Right, let's go, boys. Time to pick this one up. Thirty-four seconds to go. Toronto getting at least a shot in. Matthews going to send this down in the corner. Ryan, I, f I forget. I know you've told me. Are you actually in the Tampa Bay area? I forget exactly. Tavares coming in. He has it taken away. Flyers doing a good job collapsing down low. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And that's it. The goaltender makes the save. Period number two has come to an end. What are we going to do? Let's go to intermission and figure this one out. You're watching the Samwell B12 experience. 
South Florida. Right, right, right. Okay, here we are. Not a great way to end the second period. But you see, when we look at the stats, things are somewhat close together. Real 70 has it. He's feeling it. He says, hey, Leafs are going to come back. They're going to tie this one up. They're going to take it. We will see. All right, 23 shots for the Flyers, 19 for Toronto. Toronto now leading in hits, 23-21. 19 face-offs to 15, so Toronto's hanging on there. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Uh, four giveaways for Philadelphia, two for Toronto. Five takeaways for Toronto, two for Philly. 20 block shots by the Flyers. Wow! In the first period, I think that number was only five or six. So... A huge job the Flyers did in that second period blocking shots. That is an absolute monster. That is Godzilla right there in terms of block shots. 20 block shots through two periods of play. All right, before we get into anything, let's break down the out of town scores for tonight. The Bruins are up 2 1 over the Senators, 3 1 the Jets over the Rangers, Devils are up 2 1 over the Penguins. Red Wings and Blue Jackets, they are tied at twos. Hurricanes 3-0 over the Islanders, and that one hurts because the Islanders need some points. Avs and Blues, they are tied at one. Predators 1-0 over the Sharks. And then coming up later, it's the Sabres and the Canucks, the Wild and the Ducks, the Lightning and the Golden Knights, the Blackhawks, and the Kings. So you are now up to date on the out-of-town scoreboard. Feeling dirty, thinking there's... <laughs> Peter, that's funny. Leafs are done like dinner. Well, hey, you never know, right? If, if they can come back and actually play in the third period and they can come up with a goal, um, that will be interesting. Uh, let's take a real good look here at the current playoff picture, the current standings. Boston still hanging a one-point lead over the Florida Panthers. Panthers do have a game in hand there. Toronto sitting third in the Atlantic with 85 points. The Rangers currently four points up on Carolina. Philadelphia third in the Metropolitan. Tampa Bay hanging on to that first wild card position with 78 points. They're currently seven points back of Toronto, but uh, they, they are pressing. They want to move up. And the Washington Capitals have now overtaken Detroit. They are in that second wild card spot. So the Islanders, Detroit, and the Capitals all battling for that second and final wild card position. The Capitals at 75 points, Detroit at 74, the Islanders at 73, and Buffalo has an outside chance with 71 points. If they go on a run, they could potentially come up and steal that one and, and go in. So that's what your kind of picture looks like. Uh, the way it would play right now is Boston, if things ended today, Boston would play Washington. Uh, Florida would play Toronto. The Rangers uh, would take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. And then Carolina and Philadelphia will play each other. So it would be quite an interesting playoff picture. Uh, whatever, welcome in. Bill, welcome in. Prep with the Super Chat. You call yourself a Leaf fans. You look like... Who <laughs> we can't be soft boys now get back in there and get us a win coach prep coming up making it happen stick taps all around for prep <laughs> oh prep that's funny <laughs> let's get whoops helps if i could spell get those stick taps going again prep thank you so much for the super chat in the West Coast, what it's going to look like right now, Winnipeg, they are, well, it's a three-way tie again. Winnipeg, Colorado, Dallas, all with 91 points. Winnipeg sits in first, Colorado second, Dallas in third. Vancouver, first in the Pacific with 92 points. Edmonton in second with 84. And LA in third with 79. Nashville, they are currently holding that first wildcard spot with 82 points. Vegas holding on that last wild card spot with 79. The St. Louis Blues four points back with 75 points. So again, not confirmed that Vegas or Nashville will get in there. St. Louis 
trying to make a story. And uh, so is Minnesota, by the way. Minnesota trying to get in there. They have 74 points. Triton coming in with the $5 super chat so you can buy some tissues. Time to change teams. Triton, thank you so much for the super chat. I'll tell you what, let's give Triton some stick taps as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat. <laughs> Even if you're telling me to change teams, that's okay. I appreciate you. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, so the playoff pictures in the West, it would look like Winnipeg taking on Nashville, which, my God, Winnipeg has had Nashville's number. That would be fun. Colorado and Dallas would play each other. That would be an exciting series. Vancouver would take on Vegas. I mean, how about that for a first-round matchup? And then Edmonton and L.A. would play each other again. I think of all those series, um, Edmonton you know, might have the easiest path with L.A. Uh, Vancouver ends up playing Vegas. I mean, boy, oh, boy, wouldn't that be interesting? Of course, these playoff situations are going to change a whole lot over the coming days and weeks. We are one month and a day away. I think April 20th is when playoffs start. Uh, so we are here today. We are here tomorrow. Game time tomorrow, by the way, is at 7.30. The Leafs and the Washington Capitals. And then Thursday will be game three of three for us. Thursday is a choose your own adventure. If you haven't voted yet, go to our community section on the page and get your vote in. We will either be doing the Oilers and the Sabres or the Predators and the Panthers. Those are the two games to choose from. Uh, let me actually take a quick peek. Let's see who is in the lead, I believe. Oh, it's getting closer. Edmonton and Sabres are currently in the lead. So it looks like that's the game we will be doing. Uh, I also want to give a huge shout out to Daniel. Daniel Poss, he has upgraded his member to become a champion member. So thank you, Daniel. Much appreciated. Um, and we'll make sure to get you all the info. Uh, so thank you. and Congrats for becoming a champion member. Uh, Max coming in with the 279. Can't take much more. 4478. I made a bunch of hole in the wall. Max, don't do that. Because I tell you, if you miss and you happen to catch a stud, you're going to hurt yourself. If you don't hit a stud and you go through the drywall, well, then you got to patch some drywall. Or just hang a picture over it. One of the two. <laughs> Max, thank you so much. Stick taps for Max. Please don't punch a hole in your wall. I don't want to be responsible for your wall. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There it is. The stick taps coming in. Thank you all for the super chats tonight. Listen, these Leafs. Hey, look, there it is. It worked. Stick taps coming in. These Leafs are frustrating right now, but it doesn't mean this game has to be over. Who do you think the Leafs are going to play in the first round of the playoffs? It looks like right now, today, it's going to be the Panthers. But because Florida and Boston are so close, that's going to flip-flop. I personally would rather play Boston in the first round. As crazy as it sounds, I would rather play Boston. Uh, let's see, my brother broke his hand on a stud. He never did it again. There you go. Stud one. Brother, zero. <laughs> Krusty, I'm, I'm assume it was a wall. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, it's not funny, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's been horrible all year. Let's, I mean, let's try to get coach of the year. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, they're not moving Keith. They're not. Mo and Brody, garbage on D. They've both struggled. They're both struggling right now. They're not doing anything with Keefe at this point in the year. Um, Toronto's going to get in. Listen, I don't think there's a question. Toronto's not going to lose 14 games in a row, whatever you know, whatever they would need to lose in a row to get knocked out of the playoffs. That's not. It's not going to happen. They're going to stay in the playoffs. But regardless, Boston or Florida are two very difficult teams to play come playoff time. And... That's where I'm. That's what I'm afraid of. Uh, 
Uh, both are going to be hard. If they get eliminated in the first round, if they get eliminated in the first round, they have to get rid of Keith. They have to. I mean, you can't continue this, you know, what they're doing. I realized after how someone might interpret that, but it was too late. <laughs> That's okay. Um, you broke your hand smashing the light button. That's okay, Onyx. I feel bad for your computer, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, if 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 they do not get past the first round this year, they have to get rid of Keith. Um, Axeman, what's going on? Who did Reeves fight? Uh, Reeves fought um, Delorier, I believe it was, and uh, it was it was not a great fight. Desmond, what's going on? If I had Marner and Yarncroc in the lineup, they might score some goals in Philly. Changed up their game plan. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, for, for sure. If you had Marner and Yarncroc, it would be it would be a different ball game. They're struggling to put some lines together. They're struggling to find someone to go with Matthews. But ultimately, the way I look at it is it's the coach's responsibility to motivate the players. It's the coach's responsibility to set lines for these guys to play together. And watching how these guys are crumbling, uh, one of two things is happening. Either their game plan is just atrocious and it's not working and everybody's frustrating, which I can't believe is the case. Um, you know, in the NHL today, with the amount of coaches and everyone together, all these teams have solid game plans. So I don't think it's that they just have a bad game plan. I think what's happening is the lack of... The lack of... What am I trying to say? It's, it's the lack of finding... Um, finding the right motivation techniques. I think he's lost this room, right? I think these players, Matthews, Nylander, all these guys, they're all pissed, right? They don't like what's being thrown out here. Nobody's being held accountable. So it's the lack of accountability to the coach, right? Remember earlier in the year when he sat David Kemp and it ended his, his streak and he said he's going to hold his players accountable for their lack of defensive effort in the defensive end of the ice. He never really did that again. Yes, he sat um, Bertuzzi for a couple period for a period here, a period there, but he never pulled him out of a game, right? Keith, and I don't know if it's him, right? What we don't know is what is the word coming down from Shanahan, right? Keith very well could be like, listen, Nylander needs to sit this game. Bertuzzi needs to sit. And Shanahan says, no, that's, $8 million, $11 million. They can't sit. Um, you know, we don't know what conversations are going on. But Keith ultimately, I think, needs to be responsible for this product on the ice. Um, Axeman, that's exactly what I was about to say. This is a team effort. And if your team as a whole is not playing well, who's responsible for that team? It's the coach. And so... I actually thought Keith was going to be gone at Christmas time. I thought they would give him the first couple months of the season. They let him go. And listen, Toronto, again, they're third in their division. I think, you know, that's what's saving his career. Had Toronto not made the playoffs, I think he, or they would have been way back, he would have been out. But the fact they're in there and um, they're going to give him this. So I'd love to see, not love, I think in the summer, it's time they make a change and uh, and they move him out. Um, and then I think they got to rework this team. Again, no disrespect to John Tavares. I think it's time we move on from the John Tavares captaincy. Um, I don't see him as a huge guy motivating these other players. Nylander, not the same player. Peter, so I, I disagree with that on Willie. Um Willie is still leading this team in points. Uh, so he hasn't done it as loud as he did in the first half of the year. But Nylander is still scoring. He's still, um, you know, a point plus a game. So Nylander leading this team, he's doing everything he needs to do. Um, Math. My problem is Matthews, even though he was going to score his 60 goals, he's kind of dried up. Matthews only has 20 some odd assists. That's a problem. That's a big problem for me. If you look at Drysaddle, look at McDavid, 
Look at Pasternak. Look at Kucherov. All these guys have, you know, 40 assists, 50 assists. Matthews with, you know, under 30 assists is not good. That is not good. Um, yes, he's exciting. Yes, he's trying to get to 60 goals uh, or 70 goals. But he he needs to also help his, his teammates, right? Maybe Riley needs a suspension. Got to get him going. Uh, Tyler, what's going on? How do you feel about Dewey? You know what? I'm actually, uh, I wasn't sure when he first came in to the, when he came to Toronto, I didn't understand the move. I didn't really understand what he offered that we didn't already have. Um, you know, it's a depth player to come in and play on the fourth line. I actually don't mind it. He's made some good plays. Uh, he's playing his role. I, I feel like he knows what his role is, and he's playing that role. Um, so nothing wrong with him. A nice little pickup. It'll be interesting to see, um, you know, as it goes on, how much he can show his gritty side of him, how much they elect to use him as well as is going to be the other the other factor. The pro contract should be motivation enough. Bunch of pumps get together. Yeah, whatever. I, I agree, right? When you're making that much money, you shouldn't need someone to motivate you. But it's a long season, right? I don't know, everyone, whether you work or go to school or whatever you're doing, at some point, you get a little annoyed at your boss. You get a little annoyed at your teacher, your classmates, your colleagues. You know, you get frustrated with what you're doing. I, I should be doing more. I have more skill than what I'm being used for. Um, or why am I the, the always the go-to person? Can't we share the responsibility? You know, it's all these conversations that we as regular people have or think about. I'm sure hockey players do as well. I'm sure, you know, Matthews is starting to feel a little pressure with Marner out saying, everyone's looking at me to carry this load. We, we need other people. We need this to get going. We need JT to get going. We need Willie. To keep it going, we need Domi to step up. We need Bertuzzi to step up. When Bertuzzi was all of a sudden scoring goals, right? He had those three, four games where he started scoring goals. Well, what happened? That created space for the other players because now they had to go and block him. When nobody is scoring goals, it makes it very easy for the defense to target the one player or two players where the goals are coming from. All right, so period is about to get going. Andrew, what's going on? Let's get ready for period number three. Get back over here and we'll have to see. You know, Toronto, they've started getting some shots. That's good. They're hitting a lot of posts. Um, that's not good, but they're not getting good quality of shots. That's the problem. Quality of shots, you got to step that up. If you're just coming in and getting ready to join us for period number three, thank you for being here. Make sure you do touch that like button. We're almost at 150 likes, so thank you. We appreciate it. And, of course, hit that subscribe as well. We're going to be right back here tomorrow for the Leafs and the Washington Capitals. Matthews versus Ovechkin. That's going to be interesting. So here we go, period number three. The third period of the Bruins the other night in a 6-5 loss. Have been known to give up goals in bunches as Ronnie goes back to be kind of there by Hathaway. There's Forster back on it. Back to Sandheim. In comes Travis Sandheim. Walks right in. Poke check the last moment by Brody. Paling now with a shot. And Samson off through the traffic makes the save. I had a hard time dealing with Travis Let's see Sandheim. If we can on the get through the first minute minute here with him very active. Up skating with authority, taking pucks to the net. He loses Bertuzzi on this one. And once the half step is achieved, everything else breaks down. And he the coverage right gets throw. loose. Everyone is compensating. Great battle in front. Hathaway and Riley digging in. Samson off has to make the save. Samson off knows he needs to be pretty much flawless in the third period to give Toronto a chance. He's trying to win their ninth straight against the Flyers. They haven't lost to Philadelphia since December of 2019. You get one in the first five, six minutes if you're Toronto. You get a little momentum, get still on, your, on their heels would be the plan. Hey. Alvino, welcome in. You are 100% right. correct. You need yeah. some good passing to create those opportunities. And it's just not coming. Flyers made news this morning when John Pogorella scratched three veteran players. 
Allen to Captain Sean Couturier. Along with Cam Atkinson, Mark Stahl, Dennis Gurianov. Not the first time for Atkinson. Boy, did David Camp ever sell this oh, hook? Oh boy, so the Leafs are getting an early power player. A minute and one second in. And it's not that yeah, it wasn't Gator, a hook. it'll it'll <laughs> update. He just sold it, it is it is three nothing. I'm not sure why the widget is showing two nothing. So I have to wait for, the, uh, minor for hooking. the programmers behind the widget. I like that penalty like for Morgan Frost. So it is three nothing. Lazy hook of the hands, and he gets a you know can opener right there into the hands. But Camp could have kept skating in the puck, but he let so it go. So David saying, hey, Camp with a little Broadway move. Camp there. open the hands. That and was an embellishment. I've never seen one. He does draw the penalty on the first unit. Opportunity to get on the board early. Let's see if Toronto can Tomorrow's strike one Susie, back here. Matthews, Nylander, the forwards. And Matthews wins that back to Lillian. Cross for Tavares. John Tavares being harassed there by Hathaway. Threads it down to Matthews across the Nylander. Scores! Scores! There it is. Ten seconds into the board. What an absolute rocket by Big Willie Styles. How do you deal with this penalty goes so effective? You've got to handle the pressure. Hathaway's all over to bar. He finds time, and he finds the release. And then he it. That's the pass right there where that everything else breaks down. beauty by now William Nylander. So it's 3-1 to one now. 3-1 to one to one is the shot. actual score. I don't know why. Spot, but I tell you what, it was in the top corner. They have it as two on the scoreboard. So let's do this. Let's try it. Goal here is an 88 point. That's a new career high for him. Let's do this. <laughs> Very quietly, there we go. Really slowed down a whole lot. Eric Johnson with it. So there's your goal in the first couple of minutes. Yep. Another chance in front. Samson off. Great save there. The puck still loose. Picked up by Tavares. Matthews and Tavares draw the assists on the goal by Nylander. Yeah, keep six. It's not me. Now it's it's Tavares, a widget, so I, I have no John control on pushing over it. But we'll do this as a place Tavares tries to center again. McMahon tees it up and shoots. That's blocked by Sanheim. Sanheim shoots him a sharp angle. That goes wide. And Sanheim. Ranges back to center ice. York flips out ahead, bouncing puck, stamps it off. This is a Lair now picked up by Noah Cates. Cates flips it back in front of York, and that shot taken away by Dewar. You know what's really strange? Cam York keeps it alive. Back down to Lixell. They've taken, they've taken a goal away from Philadelphia. So Lixell has that. NHL.com has 2-1 Toronto and the, one of their goals is missing. This is very peculiar. On a break, Benoit, Benoit getting back. Benoit nice to job. Off. Takes the pass away from yes, they have taken Benoit. a goal away from Philadelphia. NHL.com, Sportsnet, all are Benoit showing it's two to one. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching on TSN, Rick. It says three to one. But if you go to Sportsnet, it has two to one. NHL.com has two to one. What is going on here? And he'll hang on to that. So we've been marveling at Owen Tippett's straight line. We saw speed. them score three. Not a good spot to be chasing him, but Benoit gets across, leads the stick, finish hard on a good skater. What is and going Benoit on back here? Back in the lineup, and this is expected goals against per minute played. The best guy in the Leafs has been Simone Benoit all year long, and that's why. 
Butler's very probably deserve to play. And also when you're watching Brody and Riley play together, they're five yes, and six. The guys who play tonight. Has a two one Has it been great for them individually or as a partnership? All these sites have a two to one. Matthews Domi Bertuzzi out there for Toronto. Something very peculiar is Domi going had on. That was blocked by Cam York. That might have been Toronto's best chance of the game. Domi back with it. <laughs> Throws it for Klein, trying to find That's Matthews. Funny. Sandheim back, a nice and call. All the way down. Against the Leafs, the faceoff back down to the Flyers zone. Let's go if we go to uh, TSN's Max Domi has, has sort of settled into his no, offensive yes, game this year. The goals, of course, are not where he would want them to be, but think about the point total. This is weird. I've never 35 seen... 35 points, 66 games. Before. Most of them are five on five. Generally, is one that of could very well be the case, Preps. That could very put on well the ice. be the case. Okay, now TSN is showing well, three to one. The center ice, but Tuzzi chips out ahead. Okay, for looks like everything just got up there. That pass just missed. So if we move this, Matthews battles three flyers for the there puck. There we go. And I'll pick up by Forrester. All is well in the world. <laughs> that was so Brody bizarre. I'm like, what up. happened to the goal? See Brody is no longer playing with Riley right now. As it just hasn't been a good night for those two. Domi gets it back in. It's knocked down by Zamula, but it's picked off by Brody. And TJ Brody keeps it alive, looks back at the point for Edmondson. Back across to Domi Tavares for Tavares. Slot. Shoot that, that Brody, Brody, Brody great save. Save made by Harrison. Brody, goal is in his 99th consecutive game, just turned away there. Now a chance for Lott with a hard shot. Rebound, trying to chip it back in front. Tavares brings it back the other way. On comes Nick Robertson. <laughs> Lead pass goes to McCabe. In with Robertson. McCabe trying to kick out of it. And Robertson so back after it. Anyway. That's right. Let's make this a comeback. Robertson digging for it. Plays it down to knee land of the centering pass. Yeah, Knocked away the from Camp. isn't fixed yet. Here is Camp. I'm sure it'll probably Lines take Lines across the top. And then it's come back. Here's a shot. That one goes just, just wide. wide. Squeezed by Benoit back down. McCabe goes back. And I said call against Philadelphia. And you're starting to see a more aggressive, more desperate. All right, so I'm glad we resolved really the rush. that situation. Great, if you're just coming in, welcome to the first show. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for us. It off and, oh, no. and if you're a Leaf fan, make sure you hit that subscribe as well. We'd love for you to hang out with us. We'll be back here tomorrow for the Leafs and the Caps. So you're saying he's due. Not his thing. Domi for the face off against Long. <laughs> controlled by the Flyers. Oh my God. What? Riley back out there with Brody. <laughs> I give up. As Bertuzzi sends it ahead. Uh, people are playing games with us now. Bertuzzi back on it. I give up. Ron. For half the way in a race for it now as Brody goes back and Paling wins that race to negate the icing. But Brody got his back up and ahead he goes to Domi. Rink wide pass for Bertuzzi, shovels that for Matthews. Austin Matthews Dan, it's not me, Bertuzzi, it's a widget. I have no control. Didn't know where the puck was. He was looking in the corner. It's Bertuzzi still 3 1. I have no control over that. Cave drops it back and the hard shot from Matthews goes high. York back on it. Supplying the pressure here in the third period. That's poked ahead by Ben. There, see, it's back to three. Black got it kept alive by Nyes. No, no they're offside. calling it on the offside. At the Philadelphia line. But life for the Leafs here in the third period. That's right, William back to normal. As his 37th oh, of the year. Oh, and Toronto's down by two. On commercial Leafs break. Hockey. Toronto is down. They got to come back. Thank AI doesn't like the Leafs. <laughs> no, it certainly doesn't. 3-1 is the correct score. 3-1 is the correct score. Can we increase the lead by the... <laughs> yes, Dan. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. If you can't... Here, let's just do this. Let's do this. Here. Let's go. There we go. All right, there we go.
Okay, is that better? <laughs> My goodness, you guys. So funny. <laughs> Triton, it's 520. <laughs> there you go, Krusty. Uh... <laughs> Oh my god, they just what is going on? <laughs> now it's zero zero. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This is oh now it's back. Somebody's having a lot of fun. And it's not me. <laughs> this is crazy. This is wild. Absolutely wild. We're starting the whole game over. Yeah, we we called in a mulligan. We're gonna we're gonna take this one again. Uh, Jason, what's going on? Welcome in. Go Leafs, go. Let's see if they can turn this around. Oh, this is this is a hoot. This is a hoot. We're not at April first, right? Like, just checking. We're still in March. Because if my computer date already automatically changes to April first, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> By the way, make sure you're live. Make sure you click on the live button and uh, that you are live. Wow. A lot of people didn't like that. <laughs> All right. They're coming back from commercial break. Exceeding Let's get this one what going. What could be expected of him given the role he's been given? And now McKee whistles that back down to the flyer zone. Is drop his gloves on Carrick. Wow. Sam Carrick dropping the gloves. Robertson trying to drop that back. It's picked off and chipped ahead by Tippett. Here he comes again. It's not Tippett my scoreboard. Back in front of the the puck loose in the slot for a moment. It's not my scoreboard. I don't by own Robertson it. And back to center ice. <laughs> it's a feed from the internet. Itself is it back down to the leaf zone. Okay, so when do you need the next one, Mike? No luck of the no Irish. Rush. You need the luck of the Irish to get through this left. game. Just the time for a crazy flurry at the end. And you can't get too aggressive and make mistakes and give up chances on the other way. Keep playing hard. Toronto is Smart skating a little bit faster now after scoring that goal. He's getting up to the puck a lot quicker. The intensity definitely picking up penalty though. Coming up to Toronto. I believe this is going to be a high stick. Toronto's going to knock this one down. Now play is called. So Holmberg will go off with 12 to go. In the third period, the Flyers' power play against the You know, it, it's funny because it Wayward was all like all these different Catches sites: NHL, TSN, Sportsnet, ESPN. They all were going wonky at the same time. Homer out there defending, and just a little tap into Lawton's chin, which never. So you're feels right. Good. There's probably a, uh, a master feed right up. that updates all these Something different that sites. Struggle with on the Everybody has it. Here we go on the penalty. On the penalty kill, let's see if Toronto can almost off the race for a here. Doer. He has had some short hands. I'm going to pick it up and dump it down and get it out. <laughs> 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 the one assist in three games so far with Toronto. Great time to get his first goal with the Leafs. Yeah. Just the Caribbean. ginger variety. Center, plays it across to connect each chips that back in as Tippett goes after it. And now Brody pounds it back down the ice. Good pass by McCabe to get it off the boards, knowing it's Brody, so he can one time it on his forehand. Now a bouncing puck right out in front. front. That one gets shoveled wide. Here's Konechny with it. Konechny back Still across back to Tippett. Line. Back and back forth, to bottom of the circle, look. coming across, Just here's a shot, nice stand-up saved by Sanchez. Matthews and Nylander short-handed, two on one. Matthews shoots off the post again, come on! How many posts? That's six posts. If they were playing post tonight, the Leafs would be running away with this game. My God. Back across to Konechny. Travis Konechny plays it back. Zamula, long shot. That tip oh, I, need, I go. Cup of tea is coming up real soon. Incredible. <laughs> Sit on the bench wondering some games. It's just not meant they to be. Cannot Six buy a goal. Short-handed Matthews. Like dribblers that are really good. Beat the goalie to bring him off the bar. Postman. 
20 seconds to go on the flyer power play. Forrester. Back for Zamula winding in. Yegor Zamula. Back to Brink. The centering pass for Lixell. They're going to that this back around. 10 Locked seconds back to go off. on the flyer power play. Forrester got spun around. <laughs> Mark, that's funny. One shot for the Flyers on the power play. Picked up now by Dewar. Dewar's going to bring this out. Coming through. Dewar Look out. Almost back ahead for Philadelphia. There. The neutral zone. Holmberg. Wants that back in as Sandheim goes after it. Doug's free by Tavares. Tavares picking this one up. Sending it around. Can't Puck get it to by Riley. Riley. Kept the line by there. Down he goes it in. To down the Domi. Around to Tavares. Cycling it around. John Tavares drops it off. In comes Morgan Riley. But he's in front for Tuzzi. Score! Tuzzi. And the Leafs are back with it. Let's see if they can do it. And this is your friendly neighborhood reminder. Rotation. Please don't call or hint at the a goal almost gets out until kept nicely by we call it here. Watch the bar, pull Thank out of the corner, you. and then drag but There we go. Up, Big goal, rally, three to two, that. or is it five to four, or is it one to eight, or has what no is it? No, Bertuzzi's it's three to two. Off the bench a big goal as Bertuzzi puts that one in. There we go. Big Bertuzzi. Right on the lip of Beautiful the coming, absolutely just net, a right great middle, goal. Gerard says, let's get a wave going, so let's do it. Three, two, one. Well. Get that wave going as Bertuzzi now has his 14. On the year. Wow. Get that wave going. Go. Way ahead of your schedule. That's, you make the push. And you mentioned Philly has given up some goals as of late. Can break it down. always they feels have a so good to type for Tuesday's name in when he scores. Here's on the shorty. There's the latest of 14. the six pack of crossbars and post that he's put past Harrison, but not Tavares. in the net. And that was By the way, totally that's Morgan Riley's 43rd assist. Goal, John Tavares, assist number 29. Back for Riley. Domi shoots. Domi with a quick shot right, right on. Lilligren back on it. Lilligren for Bertuzzi. To Lilligren. It back on goal. Ten Here's minutes to go. They just need one more. Bertuzzi again away. shots it just now right. Back on it. Back for Tavares, Tavares sending it in. The tip wide. Domi, Domi with it. it. He puts it in front. Here's Riley shoots. Bertuzzi puts it across. Oh, it. we got a penalty and going up. I think we got two. Yep, and the Leafs are going back. Leafs to the going power to the power play. play. There we go. Three, two. Now the lead here in Philadelphia. Toronto coming back, going to the power play. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. If you are a Leafs fan, which I know most of you are, let's see it. Go Leafs go. Flood the chat. Go Leafs go. If you're a Flyers fan, I'm sorry, but let's get her. Bill, what's going on? Welcome in. One more to tie, two more to win. Get the hats on. Get whatever you need. I'm not changing my hat. I'm not changing anything. I got the bucket right next to me. Should we need it? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's turn it up. If you're just coming in and joining us, thank you. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're nine, or sorry, two likes away from 150 likes. Make sure to hit that like. And hit that subscribe number. We want to see that going up. Eight subscribers away from 330. So thank you so much for supporting our channel with the likes, with the subs, and all that fun stuff. We'll be right here tomorrow at 730 for the Leafs and Alex Ovechkin in the Washington Capitals. So make sure to come and hang out with us for that one. Hopefully it's not as stressful as tonight has been. Nico, what's going on? Welcome in. Do you have... Uh, Jonathan, the jersey's coming out for that one. Uh, do you have a view of Tortsy for the Leafs next goal? I I would... He, he must be blowing a gasket. He must absolutely be going nuts. I think our widget has frozen here, so let me...
All right, here we go. They're just coming back. Let's go. Let's see what they can Matthews do. Matthews leads the way with 15. Lilliergren back across the Nylander. Nylander Here's feeds Nylander down going down low. They're on the power Petuzzi play. Matthews power play has not been good. This one gets knocked out. Uh, Dan, there should be a list that's and dropped in the chat every few minutes by the Streamlabs That will tell you all the commands you can use. Or you'll see what other people uh, put Leaves in. Up the equalizer here. Matthews lines in one on four. Back for Bertuzzi. Matthews digs it free. <laughs> sure, that's funny. Oh, there you go. That's a skip off him and back to center right. Got to win a puck battle on the boards there. Get it clean off the wall for possession. Five, ten minutes, 50 seconds. Matthews. Flyers. Drops it back across the Nylander. For Tavares. John Tavares winds in. Tavares is speeding it over Bertuzzi with a shot. Rebound is there for Matthews. He sends it out in front. Shoot that Why You waited too long. Now it comes wide. Matthews cross ice one timer and that one gets blocked. Nice passing, but they just couldn't tap it home. Oh, he's fan with no faith. Not at home, that's funny. All right, it's that time. Banks it back for Robertson. It's that time. Away comes Dick Robertson. With eight minutes left to go. Feeds that back to Riley. Oh, I gotta take Riley the glasses back off. Across the nine. Nine to McMahon. Come on, McMahon passing it across. Out of the reach of Robertson, he has to go back and pick it up. Thirty seconds to go. Mickey turning around. In comes Robertson. Lost it. Puck set down the ice by Cates. It's all the way down. Let's go. It's bucket time. It's bucket time. Inside seven and a half to go. In the third period, Morgan Riley leads the rush. Drops it back to McCabe. Let's go. Here is Max Domi. Domi cycling around. McCabe's going to put it in. Power play's about to expire. Side of the net, chipped out in front for Robertson. That's going to hop over his stick right to the guy coming out of the box. Benoit getting back in time. They fan on the shot. Going for the wraparound, and they score. What a terrible pass to make at that point in time. Oh, my gosh. What a terrible pass. People are going to blame this on Nick Robertson. This is not Nick Robertson's fault. Whoever it was out from behind the net passed that up to Nick Robertson. A saucer pass that bounced on him right when the flyer was coming out of the penalty box. So I think this is John Tavares. Just an atrocious pass at the wrong time. My goodness. in front of the net. Ten seconds after his penalty ended, Scott Lawton scores. Lawton puts that, that in. To Philadelphia. One that one hurts. That one hurts a lot. He's pressing for the equalizer, but the Flyers regain their two-goal cushion. Here comes Philadelphia again. Going to work this through. Going to flip this one out. Edmondson, he gets taken out hard into the boards. Here comes Toronto. Toronto with the puck. He's going to bounce this one in. Why is Brody the first man in going to get the puck? Again, Brody, your defense. Draw the assist on the goal by Scott Lott. It's 11th of the year. Race for now for Tuesday. Gets There's Bertuzzi. Burt's going to get there first. Has it in his feet tied up. Matthews trying to help him out. Burt gets knocked down. Matthews is digging for it. This one coming around the side. Flyers bringing this all the way back. Right, Sean? Like, let's go. By the way, Sandheim with the second assist on York on that goal. Sandheim plays it back in. Matthews with the puck. He's going to spin around and create some space. The pa Toronto's passing right now has not been big. Nylander can't control it. That's coming back around. Billy going to flip this one down the ice. Ben walking can knock this down. Ben Wah's actually played a decent game. Nice taking a bump. He's right back at it tomorrow night. 
against the Washington Capitals in D.C. as Brink plays it across. Faraby plays it back in for Brink with Benoit. Finds McMahon. Pass through center, picked up by Zamula. Benoit crunches it to Brink. McCabe going to flip this one over, trying to get it out. Here comes Benoit now. Back to McCabe. He's going to carry it in. Long it flip it in. Toronto on the chase. Tavares doesn't catch up. Down by Nyes. Nyes in there. He's getting some help. And the Flyers just going to flip this one up. McCabe has it around the neutral zone. Trying to play it up. Here's Nyes. Little backhand pass. Giveaway. they got to stop these backhand passes. He's behind the back pass. <laughs> Jonathan, that's awesome. Here's McMahon. He's racing for it. It took a funny bounce. McMahon was able to get it momentarily. Leaps with it in the corner. Getting it back to the line. Cross ice to Brody. Brody sending it in. Trying to go back door for Riley. Riley caught that. Forrester are going to roll this one down. 3.45 to go here in the third period. Long pass ahead. Toronto walking in. Going to drop this one down in the corner. Matthews can't get there. He had some animated instructions for Matthews when he came on the ice. Go score. Flyers just getting all the bounces right now. There's a long shot right on. Sammy's going to hold it. He tries to play it, but the official already blowing the whistle. Scott Lock has restored the Flyers' two-goal lead. So they're going to another commercial break the helmet not getting the job done holy moly toronto they've struggled most of the game they had a burst of energy they had a burst there but they just couldn't contain it again that bad 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 pass <laughs> whatever that's our uh that's our up your pie hole emoji which started it when uh, the Leafs beat Tampa Bay in the playoffs. The up your pie hole phase kind of came out and we made a logo for it. So that's, uh, that's kind of what it is. It's a hand bursting through a pie, grabbing a puck with some words on it. <laughs> uh, by the way, that logo is available in our store along with all of our logos on some hats, t-shirts, mugs, if you haven't seen any of our merch, go check out our store. There's some cool stuff there. It doesn't really show well on here. We got the logo hat. You can get that up your pie hole logo on a hat, a mug, all kinds of fun stuff. Check out our store. You can also find all the merch on our website, samwellb12experience.com. So that is, that is all the good stuff. Oh, I've seen comebacks, but I'm hard. It's yeah, it's gonna be tough right now, and and you know it's not like Philly is playing amazing hockey right now. Toronto's just playing real, real bad hockey. Oh yeah, they'll pull the goalie. They'll they'll pull the goalie for sure, for sure. Probably. Let's see. There's about three and a half minutes left. Three twenty-three. So my guess will be the next time they have an offensive zone rush, uh, they will they will make the pull. Well, let's see what they can do. They're just coming back from commercial break. Let's see how the Leafs are going to close this one out. He's going to make the all-rookie team, I would imagine. Playing in his 40th game of the year. Face off in Toronto zone. Leafs are going to win that draw. But the way Toronto's been controlling the puck, will they be able to control it with a six on five? We'll see. They haven't been able to control it with a five on four. High performance part of the game. And the aforementioned Scott Lawton, who has been all over this game involved physically. They got to figure out. He's got the big fourth goal. Remember, it was he who. I will. Onyx, I will take all the blame. Nearly good enough. We have to I will take all the blame. And he's come out led by example and has been. Oh, you mean Sammy the goaltender? No. Sammy's been fine. Two two of the goals Philly scored weren't his fault. It was because he had two guys standing directly in front of him. He saw the reaction when he scored. He was fired up. All the big guys out here, Tavares, Dylander. Ryan is praising the Leafs. Did I miss it? There we go. Sammy has been pulled. 
Six on five now. Here's a quick shot, and again, Philly. Hathaway misses the empty net. This will be an icing. Play. And back goes Ron to pick it up. Can we do a swap? Yeah, just with see what happens right here. <laughs> Phil, I don't want either of them. <laughs> I don't want Cooper, and I definitely don't want Cooper. So this is, I'm not saying he's not. I know you, everyone's probably like. But what do you mean you don't want to draw? He's seconds, like that top would performer in the league every year. Right. Yeah, can't stand it. Yeah, but it's stand. a real fine line. The refs have to make a judgment call whether to let him change on an icing. All right, face off and kill you zone again. It's six Wins on five. Leafs pull their goalie. They win the draw. Well, you're gonna cross to Matthews. Over to Matthews. Matthews, well, long shot. Rebound is there in the slot. Toronto can't get to it. Racing in. Lilligren's going to keep this puck in to Nylander. Nylander putting it out in the front again. No leap. He get it. Flyers winning these battles. Tavares to putting Crossy it over. Lilligren down, down low. Back to Lily at the top. Crossy side of the Matthews. net for Matthews. Matthews is Matthews at the bottom of the faceoff circle. Harrison He's going to shoot Tavares short Tavares side. Tavares. Trying to jam it in. They score. Toronto putting it in, Tortorella getting a little heartburn there. JT, John Tavares, thank you for coming out. Posting in, yeah. Got to use those posts. Just barely, right? Just barely. My goodness, Tavares putting one in. So we got 211 on the clock. 211 on the clock. Toronto is down by one. I'm not putting the helmet back on. We're leaving this hat on. This hat. They've been doing well. I'm not changing anything. There goes Samsonov. Leaving. Oh my goodness. Toronto almost got a too many men on the ice call. Samsonov was going off. The lead player jumped on a little early. Toronto swinging it back. Toronto killed off about 30 seconds here. Stop dropping it backwards. Nylander going in. Six on five. Setting it up. Toronto now has possession. Coming back to the line and they can't keep it in. Riley back to pick it up. So these guys can play the rest of the game if they get a whistle. Matthews. Here it comes Toronto. Walk it in. Again, Toronto Tavares. has possession. Tavares. Quick shot. High and wide. Down. It's going to be into the mesh. So we're going to get a whistle and a face off in the flyer zone. Not a good rush here for Toronto. It took them far too long to get organized and get this in. Bad passing still not helping the situation. You're just coming in. Thanks for being here. We'll be here with the Leafs in the Capitals tomorrow night. So make sure you subscribe. Set your notification bell. We'd love for you to hang out with us all season long. Feel free to come in the chat. Let us know. Are you a Leaf fan? Are you a Flyer fan? But they got the whistle. Now they can catch their breath. DCHL nice. plan. Key Boucher offensively, Bradshaw defensively working it for the Flyers. Yeah, we'll actually be and attending the Marlies really game this weekend. Put him out there. We'll be at the Marlies game front of the net. this weekend. <laughs> Ready to go. And the Leafs had this done to them on Saturday night, right? Yeah. Two goals with the goalie out to tie a game. And trying to Bob, do the exact welcome same in. Thing go against the Flyers. Go. And Matthews picking right up some assists. It's about Philly time, right? He needs those assists. And I'm on the bench. Six skaters on for Toronto. Tavares has been great on faceoffs tonight against Lock. 124 to go. You just need one. Two Oakville guys. And Tavares wins it cleanly back Tavares to Riley. Tavares wins the draw. Riley bobbled Riley. it, was able to re regain possession. Nylander. Nylander in the Nylander corner. Riley causing some traffic for him. Nylander gets back. it to the line. Lilligren. Across, Across to Matthews. Matthews, Matthews taking a look. To Lilligren, to Willie, Willie, Willie. Shoots, big shot block there. Going the corner for Riley. Gets it to Bertuzzi, to Matthews. Putting it over, here's a shot. Another one hit a leg goes wide. Last minute to play. Here's Lilligren, Lilligren. To Matthews, Matthews bobbles it. Has it side of the net. Matthews looking to go cross ice to Riley. He gets it, but not cleanly. Turned over to Philadelphia. Sandheim gets it, and they can't keep it in. 40 seconds to go. Ref says no icing. No icing. You gotta skate. Let's go, Lily. Gonna pass this one all the way up. 
And Bertuzzi can't handle it. Bertuzzi turns it over. Philadelphia sending it back. 30 seconds to go now. You gotta go, Willie. Nylander, he's gonna pass it up to Bertuzzi. He's gonna dump it in, but not deep. 20 seconds ago, Tavares steals it. Coming down low. They gotta go, side of the net, Bertuzzi, jam play. Doesn't come up with it. Matthews cross check from behind, knocked down. 10 seconds to go. Nylander steals it. They get it out, Flyers clear, that's going to do it. This game is going to be over. Two seconds to go. Backhand misses the net. The Flyers hold off to win it 4-3. to 4-3, to three. Philly ends their losing streak. Toronto now goes 3-3 three and three over their last six. Back-to-back -back losses for Toronto. They're going to go into Washington where... Joe Wall is expected to get the start. We'll have to see what adjustments they'll make. Toronto played atrocious for the most part in this hockey game. Their stat line is okay. 30 shots, 61.5% in the faceoff circle. One for three on the power play. 28 hits, eight block shots, three giveaways, seven takeaways. Is it okay? That's not a bad game. The Flyers go 28 shots on net, 0 for 2 on the power play. But the story here is block shots for the Philadelphia Flyers. 35 block shots for the Philadelphia Flyers. That is a monster number there. That is the difference. This is the first win for the Flyers this year against Toronto. Toronto won 4-3 Feb 15th, 6-2 March 14th. And they lose this one 4-3. Coming up tomorrow night, it is the Leafs and the Washington Capitals. Alex Ovechkin is going to be there. That's going to be a good one. We'll see what he does. He's a Leaf killer. Always puts up big numbers against Toronto. Uh, I want to thank our moderators. Thanks, Mods, for always doing what you do. Appreciate it so much. Thank you to all our gifters. Daniel, thank you. Daniel Poss, thank you for becoming a champion member appreciate you richard thank you for the 20 pound super chat uh prep for the gifted membership and the super chats as well as triton and max thank you all so much for the gifts tonight really really appreciate it thank you for supporting our channel that way uh thank you to our channel members in general really appreciate all your support uh for everyone who found us hit that like hit that subscribe thank you so much and for for the majority of you who come in here, game in and game out, hang out and have some fun. Thank you so much. It's because of you, this community is growing and our channel is as fun as it is. So thank you all so much. We'll see you tomorrow night. There are the three stars. It's too small on my screen. I took off my glasses. Let's, let's pull it up here. Can I cheat a little bit and look on the uh, bigger monitor? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, I could just drag it up. Oop, not that. Don't do that, Sam. There we go. Let's make it a little bigger here. So Sam can actually read. Cam York, Owen Tippett, and Frost. The three stars of tonight's game. From all of us here at the Sam Welby 12 Experience, thank you so much for being a part of what we do. Ryan, even you, thank you for being our resident villain we appreciate you and i hope you don't mind me calling you that it's all in good fun that's what we're here for to have a lot of fun that block shot total is had a win against a great team it is you get in there you block those shots it's absolutely crazy tell your friends tell your colleagues tell everyone send them the link for tomorrow's stream come in here hang out and um help us out because uh the more the merrier and we love for you guys to share the word and help us. And last but not least, let me get this link one more time. We dropped the Mitch Marner injury video earlier today. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, do me a favor. It's like two minutes. Give it a quick watch, two minute watch. Hit that like on the video. That will really help us out. There's the link. Uh, just click over there now. Give it a quick watch and hit that like button. Thank you all so much. Blue Kitten, see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Take care, everyone. Good night. And even though they lost, go Leafs go.